<laughs> Hi everyone. Um, that was very energetic for me. Uh, welcome to That's my right. first ever, my first ever stream on this channel um, called Ogori Night. Um, we will be playing Bar the Windows, Bolt the Doors uh today which i'm really really excited about i can't believe i'm running something on my own channel so i just need a moment um but uh yeah bar the windows bolt the doors for those of you that haven't heard of it is a game by stoneshore games um uk based indie ttrpg very excited to get going with this game um specifically oh. i will be taking things from the blood yule expansion which is a recently released expansion um, includes loads of festive theme content, uh, foes, items, maps, the lot. Uh, and it is currently on sale everywhere. So if you watch this, you enjoy it, you think the game sounds great, uh, please do feel free to check out that game um, on Stoneshore Games' itch page. Uh, okay. So, I guess I will start by saying that Bar the Windows, Bolt the Doors is usually a GMless game. Um, so, that is the way that the rules are writ, as it were. Um, but, <laughs> but because it's me, and I always like to do things a little bit differently, I will be acting as a guide, a facilitator, um, and the nemesis, as it were, of our lovely players here, who I will uh, get to in a moment. Um, it is a horror game. So if you looked at my ads and you kind of believe them and really are coming here expecting some festive themed fun, then that's what you're going to get. Um, it's not. It's going to be a massacre. It's, it, it won't be. You'll be fine. You'll all be fine. Press I'm massacre. sure you'll all be fine. <laughs> I've played this game before. <laughs> I know exactly how it goes. Um, it is a great game. I, I love it. It's it's hopefully like the, it's the fun kind of murder Anyway, um, <laughs> it is a horror game, so uh, there are horror themes, so I'm going to just start with a few safety bits. Um, there'll be a lot of tropes uh, that you kind of see in the media, normally associated with horror media, horror films, because um, it's kind of built on being a tropey game. Um, it specifically will be surrounding cults, so anything that, you, if you've ever watched a, a horror film, that has like cults in it, all the usual stereotypes with that, they'll be kind of that. Um, you'll get a bit of gore, a bit of death, a little bit of self-harm in there. So if those things sound like major turn-offs, um, I will encourage each and every one of you to put your own safety first. I really appreciate you all being here to support me and everything like that. And the fact that you showed up, I love you, but I want everyone to feel safe and comfortable. So. Uh, there's that. I've already discussed lines and veils with my players, but I will just reiterate, if any of my players, I would like, if you feel like I'm stepping on your veils, please feel free to interrupt me, yell out my name, stop my train of thought, and just say, cat, just stop. Um, or if you feel like you need to step away, just step away. Um, I will try to have my eyes on a million faces at once. Uh, so, players, uh, if you think that I haven't noticed someone stepping away, just take a moment to inform me, please, because otherwise I'll just keep going as if they're there. Um, so, uh, that's that covered. Um, all right. Well, I guess I guess we're ready to roll. Um, how are we all feeling? Are we excited? Hot. I don't like that monologue you just oh, yeah. I gave this. I gave. I, I was like, "Hey, let's all wear like wintry themed shit," and then uh, everyone's hot now. Um, it's snowing where I am, Same. by the way, and it's. I was snowing. hot before this. I just want to establish yeah. that. I mean, yeah, we're all, we're all hot. Oh, you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, that was a given. <laughs> um. But it's, it, yeah, it started snowing here um, today, like literally a few hours ago. And I was like, if this isn't a sign, mm -hmm. like it's like snowing for my stream. Like, hopefully that means good things. Hopefully. That... <laughs> um, it means we're all going to get murdered. <laughs> no. Luck is my thing. Oh. Winter in California. <laughs> all right, everyone. Uh, I'm going to introduce all of you now, or you're going to introduce yourselves. Um, my lovely players. 
uh, will be referred to during the game, if I remember, as the outsiders, uh, because that is what they are, that is their role in the game. Um, and they specifically, we kind of sat down and we came up with a group backstory. They are part of the Sandalwood High Hockey Team. Uh, they are here in this place, and I'll explain it all in a moment. Um, on a winter vacation, before their before their big game, before their big match, um, and things have obviously gone a little bit wrong. But I'm going to go around, and I would like each and every one of you to introduce your real selves and pronouns, um, and your character names, pronouns personality traits because you each picked two personality traits and that comes into the game um and just you know give a little description about your characters um because we're all dying to get to know them dying to get to know them the fun is just beginning uh Cool. So let me see. Let's start with who's on my stream. So, uh, I will go with the lovely fleet first. Hey, beautiful people. It's me, your favorite Jew. Uh, fleet Dietrich. You can find me at fleet underscore Dietrich. I am playing Cade. Oh boy, what did I say there? Cade Rex Riley, the center and team captain of our beautiful hockey team. We did. We had talked about center or forward. Whoa, whoa, what happened? What happened? It's okay, it's okay. You're back, you're back. You're the center. Yeah, we show center. So I, what's up? <laughs> uh, and listen, some may have more talent this way, but there is no excuse for anyone working. <laughs> That's who I'm playing. Uh, I am a bookish, sarcastic person, so that has nothing to do with my character, but I'm happy. I'm just happy. <laughs> Oh, I'm just, I'm so chuffed. Mm. I just, I just want to say, uh, Gas just put in the chat first jump scare from the way that you're, you're, <laughs> you just flick it off and then back on. <laughs> what do you mean? My video was fine the whole time. What? I'm anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's <definitely> <laughs> this is not going to be one of those streams where all of our screens just flicker off one by one. It's not going to be that. Mm -mm. Uh, maybe. But um, my power, my little strength, my little strength is, I'm good with my hands. Okay, but what about your character? Hey. Mm -hmm. hey. hey. <laughs> I like that uh, I dab too hard, I flicker in and out of reality. <laughs> yes, I like that too. Uh, cool. Next up, we have uh, Joan. Tell me, Joan. Hi. Who are you? I'm Joan. <laughs> uh, you might have also seen me on GRTW like 99.99% uh, 99 of everybody that's on this screen. And three black halflings. And today I'm playing Melanie Fives Sawchuck. That's Fives as in five for fighting because I am gregarious and bombastic and I am a born fighter and also if you understand the reference that is between fives and rex you are awesome and yes we worked that into our backstory also <laughs> i had to modify my jersey because this is actually a steve eiserman jersey Amazing. that may or may not be older than one of the players in this stream <laughs> <laughs> allegedly Allegedly. 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 Also, I apologize uh, in advance for fidgeting because I have ADHD and a tiny dragon growing in my belly. I don't think you do not one. have to apologize for either of those things. Um, cool. Who is next? Who's next on my screen? It is Jen. Hi, friends. Oh. I am Jen. Uh, pronouns uh, she, they. Uh, I'm a fairly boring person, but you know who's not a boring person is Izumi Watanabe, who, uh, whose nickname is Mom! Not boring at mom! all. Mom! I would call only mom! interesting people Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, not Mommy. Too loudly or my actual mom will think I'm calling her mm -hmm. and she'll be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it's kind of like Beetlejuice. If you say Mom three times, she'll appear behind you with, like, a hot warming pad Ooh. and, like, a bottle and of water. <laughs> and like some pizza rolls. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, some like pizza pockets. It some... did come to me with tea. Hot pockets. Yeah. 
That's it. Okay. Um, my personality traits are prudent and exasperated, as any mom should be. Um, um, description note. or no description? Sure. A little, yeah, a little description. We want to know, like, your your description. Uh, right. Your, yeah. Hello. Hi. It me. I'm I'm mom. Uh, about five six, shoulder length, straight black hair. Um, normally dressed in like average colored jeans and like some sort of cardigan um when she's not you know on the ice uh plays was it wing yeah you're like a right wing yeah cool i play white hi oh, mom i'm oh, gas whoa we got a right winger in nah! uh, <laughs> mom, um, thank god uh we do cut off the stream we do have to get <laughs> gas so let's get gas in here um mm -hmm. uh However, uh, tonight she is dressed in pastel red jeans and the ugliest Christmas sweater you've ever seen. Incredible noise. Every single I forgot to say. Go ahead. Oh, I forgot to say my pronouns. Both me and Fives are she, her, hers, and also I'm D. With the oh. D. Yeah, Mom is also she they. They them baby across the boards. Wow. Except for me, I'm they she. Uh, but into my... the boards. Mom has brought each of us matching ugly Christmas sweaters, so we are all on the same sweater. Yes. <laughs> team uniform. Ugly you are sweaters. all, all on the same, same sweater. sweater. We, we are all of us. <laughs> yeah, that's me. All right. Last but certainly not least, the superwoman that is the one, the only JC Darcy. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Me. Yeah, that's you. Me. Hi, friend. It's yeah, me, JC Darcy, award winning JC Darcy, writer, producer, uh, other things. I'm here. I'm queer, get used to it. I'm playing. Who Yay. am I playing? I have so many screens, you guys. Oh my god. I'm playing Millie. I'm Millie baby. Someone give me a nickname, Serrano. Um, who is rebellious <laughs> and strong as befits her position as the goalie, because somebody had to play the goalie. Um, the goalie is the best. Oh, yeah. I think we set up we set up a relationship that wasn't actual kid sister, but kid sister adjacent to somebody yeah. mm -hmm. uh so mm -hmm. it's very... you're also the other assistant captain that was it i think there's like five assistant captains on this team but now most of them are Bro, dead from us captain. yeah um, well, well a lot of them if there's five assistant captains on this team one of them is dead one of them is definitely dead spoiler <laughs> I'm the captain, one, so everyone dead. but us is dead wait um, who is dead yeah very like I little kid my... sister energy uh i'm picturing like again <laughs> ugly Christmas sweater, but that that's not out of the ordinary for her. She would probably be wearing this regardless. Um, red curly hair, freckles, glasses, just this like chunk of a gal and unashamed. Goalie. Chonk. Chonk. I mean, the reason that we lost the fifth captain, co captain, is because like we didn't have to run faster than the monsters, just faster than one person. Yeah. And that yeah. just was the person. And they were the person. Yeah. We are the four fashion. I should have shown up to practice more often. That is what they Should have done those running drills. Our, we all had our skates on us, except for them. Uh, mm -hmm. So we, yeah. we just were more prepared. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to tape your skates so you don't get a guillotine to the Achilles. That's not good for that anyone. That could come in useful. John with the hockey. Say. Spot the person on the team with the actual hockey knowledge. Holy shit, carry yeah, us. Right. Yeah. Carry us through this. And, uh, There's two <laughs> of us. <laughs> Give me chat, but it's not me. Uh, so I'm relying on these people to know hockey puns and things because I don't know nothing about hockey. But I did, you know, I tried. I did a little research. I made, I made little tokens for them, uh, and I, I got the goalie token for the goalie. And I was like, I know that's a goalie, and I was already proud of myself. So um... yay! The goalies are usually have more pads than everybody else. Exactly. All right, are we ready to begin? Not that no! kind of pads. No, Sorry. let's keep bantering and staying alive. No, no, do it. <laughs> let's keep stalling. <laughs> All right. So, everyone, welcome to Ogori Night. Um, the town of Cloudfurt, nestled deep within the Bavarian mountains of Germany, was picked to be Sandalwood High's hockey team's winter vacation destination. For many reasons, there are picturesque, snowy landscapes, plenty of festive activities. It's not too far away from the Berlin Hockey Youth Championships that you are due to play after. And most importantly, the unbelievably bargain prices 
at the town's only hotel, known as Ruby Peaks, when compared to all of the other mountain villages in the area. Unbelievable deal that the school got with that one. So your expectations of the promised winter sports, cheery markets, sampling traditional delicacies were quickly dashed. Most of the town was dilapidated, boarded up, the ski lifts were out of order. You tried to make the best of it, but quickly became more and more uncomfortable with the local customs. The overly friendly residents seemed to almost constantly be watching you. And the Ruby Peaks, the hotel you're staying at, was completely empty of guests beside yourselves. Which struck you all as a little odd. What's more, members of your team began to go mysteriously missing. Being the kind of hockey players that take initiative, well, initiative does it, it's a DD joke in there somewhere. You each began investigating the strange town, and in doing so, stumbled upon a horrific discovery. Cloudfurt's residents all belong to a cult dedicated to a strange creature that they call Stache Parmamon. Like Parmesan? Or... Like the Stage <laughs> Parmesan! Stage Parmesan! Parmesan. Otherwise known as the Holly Man. They believe that his presence is a result of a curse placed upon the town centuries ago, and the only way to appease his wrath is to provide souls for him to consume. And so, in order to save themselves, naturally, they have taken to ritualistically luring in tourists instead. You have witnessed some impossible and awful things during your stay at Cloudfurt. Most notably, the excruciating death of your beloved coach, who sacrificed herself in order to aid your escape back to the Ruby Peaks. You all know through your limited research that if you can survive there until sunrise, you stand a much better chance of escaping with the school bus. But for now, we begin at the rundown Ruby Peaks Hotel as you shut the heavy oak doors behind you and you begin to frantically make plans as sunrise does indeed approach. So I'm going to give a little brief overview on how we're going to play this. Uh, we're going to start with a little reflection phase. You're all going to have some time to chat, discuss what your plans are. Um, I encourage you to talk about it amongst yourselves, but also be mindful of what your characters know. Um, then each player will take one or two acts in any order to get things going. Um, the acts come in two different types. The, uh, viewers out there there are simple acts which just take an act um and then there are desperate acts which take an act and a point of desperation um each of our players here our lovely outsiders only have so much desperation and they have to try to keep maintain and monitor that desperation level um once they've taken their turns i shall be controlling any threats that might be coming their way speaking of things that you know um, again, because I'm extra and I can't just play the game how it's supposed to be played, I have to add my own little thing to it. Um, I have decided to make things a little bit more interesting. You may notice on the map um, that there are little sacks in certain rooms with your names on it. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is what I like to call a gift. A gift that you all know only your character knows about each of those sacks. So if it has your name on it, your character knows about it. So, Rhett, we'll start with you. Um, you are the team captain. Boy. And in this what moment, team captain? Mm. <laughs> the first oh thing that you know is important as you look around at your desperately panicking teammates is keeping up those sugar levels, keeping up that adrenaline. We cannot afford to get tired. You've seen it in matches time and time again, and this is equally important. And so you remember in the kitchen, in the room that has your little sack name, seeing some sugary treats, a plate of cookies left out on the table. 
So should you wish to, you can lead your teammates there um, and grab those. And if any of you grab your sugar retreat because you know what it is and exactly where it is, I will let you take it as a free action. Gotcha. So it is free for you to do it and you can take actions on top. All right. So you nice. know about some sugar retreats. Fives, you're up next. You gotcha. remember your dear, now rather dead friend, Sharon mm. Carter. Sharon. Uh, and Sharon. Oh, Sharon. What are we going to tell Steve? I know. <laughs> and Sharon, I'm sorry. I'll take great care of him for you. Odd ritual. Mm. Whenever you guys want to match, she had stolen one of the hockey sticks that Coach used to carry around. And whenever you guys want to match, she would take, she was a bit of a goth, she would take one of the metal studs attached to her belts, gloves, whatever she had on her, and she would attach it to the hockey stick as a sort of weird trophy. It was a kind of weird thing that she used to do. But in this moment, You're fucking you telling me there's a spiked hockey stick in here? There's a freaking spike, spiky metal hockey stick. Oh, damn. Um, yeah. That... And it is sitting in that room, just nice. waiting. And you know exactly where it is because that is Sharon Carter's room. Okay. Sweet. So that's what you know. Gotcha. Uh, Millie, you remember when you were all coming into town, your entire party, your entire team, the coach, the bus driver was stopped by a strange bearded man, great big white beard, twinkle in his eye um and he Sus. pleaded in a sort of strange insane rambling with your entire group not to go into Plowfoot. and of course your teachers didn't listen and of course they told all of you not to speak to the stranger but you're a little rebellious and i think he saw that in you so before you all head off again back into and you know into most of your untimely deaths save for the four of you he gave you a folded up piece of paper and he said to you took you by the shoulder and said to you if you need me call me you've seen some weird shit okay so you know that something about that might be able to help you you just get this feeling that if you find that paper and you can remember exactly where you left it something about that might help you and lastly not least Izumi. Me. mom Izumi. mom <laughs> um and mom you were while uh, everyone else was out exploring in time you decided to stay behind at the hotel and have a little explore yourself and you came across the or at least she called herself the hotel owner's daughter. Uh, strangely, now you come to think of it, the only child that you've seen in the place. Um, and she begged you to play a game with her. She begged you to play hide and seek, which you complied because you are mom. Um, and because you did, and she had a lot of fun, she gave you, a sh or she showed you a strange neatly woven with pine needles and twigs and plants weird amulet and she told you this will protect you in very broken english before she skipped off and of course you thinking it was just some child's toy left it in the room I but just, now oh my god <laughs> you are thinking perhaps there's more to it than you first thought so those are the things that you will know about. Um, you can see which rooms they are in. Some of them are down on the same floor as you. Some of them are upstairs and a little harder to get to. Um, but uh, with that, I would like you all to discuss what you're going to do and make your actions. You have up to two actions to take. Right. So, so I'm where, covered. Where but... have we started? Because don't are we starting in the main hallway? Middle of the We're first on... floor, yeah. Right, okay, yeah. cool, 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 cool. By the air, it's the one, too. Right. Um, to get, get upstairs. upstairs. Uh, I think Joan is, is working with 
technical difficulties. Ah, yes. Uh, however, I think this... You can oh, she can hear, but she just can't talk. In that case, I'm gonna give her... I am covered in the coach's blood. Uh, I think I would like to establish. I am absolutely drenched in the coach's blood. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, Joan has an incredible neck. Good for you. True how, how much sunscreen do you use on your neck? I want an answer later. So I'm... Um, yes, yeah, so <laughs> good for you. Answers to chat. <laughs> do you put sunscreen on your neck? You should. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna pull everybody in. I'm covered in blood. Like it's, I've, 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 like I've wiped it off my face. Listen to me. Oh, hold on. That's not Kate's voice. He's from the Bronx. Listen to me. <laughs> That's the Listen to me. It's <laughs> no change. Pulling you all in. Because <laughs> we're in the final act. The only way. That we can get out of this it's if we fight back yeah does anybody know of any weapons that are happening in this area okay. first off is anyone hurt no one is hurt so you have all barely escaped your lives and thanks to your coach's sacrifice no one was hurt in you I'm, running i'm just like grabbing kate i'm just like hey are you hurt are you hurt are you hurt not my blood not my blood oh oh uh, ew um shit. um i yeah. You have a you have a wet wipe? Yeah, of course I have wet of course I have wet wipes. She kinda like reaches back into like her, her very deep back pocket, which y'all now realize uh she is in fact wearing men's jeans, uh, for the pockets. She puts out like three packets of wet wipes here. Noise. Well, my pockets are already fine. Uh I'm gonna wipe it wipe my face a little bit. Um alright, I'm gonna barricade the front door. Yep. That seems the most obvious point of entry. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you are good with your hands, so uh, I have a chance you can to do that. Roll. And I need you to roll one d six for me. Yep. So for everyone at home, whenever I make a barricade, I can roll a one d six and not lose desperation if I get a five or a six. So I'm using a little rubber ducky, little rubber ducky die, yeah, uh, for whimsy and fun. That's a four, so I lose a desperation. Okay. Uh, let me just check that. On Side note, you do not, no, I don't usually wear four. sunscreen. You rolled a four? Yeah, yeah, so you don't lose the desperation. Hell oh, sick! Yeah. yeah, so if you roll a four, five, or six, you don't lose desperation. It's only if you roll a one, two, or three that you still lose the desperation. So calmly, you That's begin our captain. to barricade. Let's fucking that go! One and two is barred. Also, to Joe's point about wearing a sunscreen, I've discovered a sunscreen that's like got some stuff in it, so it's like very light foundation. So that's why mm. I'm now like some makeup. Mm. Everyone, I should wear it, but melanin is just good at. Be strong. Yeah, Be stronger than me. And that's Can, I... Just good. Can I? Can I? Only against sun really damage. Nice. I'm gonna try and scavenge. As they're doing that, I'm gonna look around behind them. I'm gonna start rootling through, like, I'm assuming there's like concierge desk here, there's reception, there's gotta be something back here. Yeah, so you're gonna scavenge. That's gonna take a desperation. Um, so you're gonna take a desperation to suck scavenge. Cool! Uh, roll um, a d12 for me. D12. Oh, you don't get to roll them very often. Let's go. I don't know if anybody else has done this either, by the way, but I'm rolling thematic dice, I'm rolling snowy dice. With little Ooh. with little snowflakes in them. Adorable. Yeah, that's so cute. Thank you. Mine are red like blood. <laughs> Perfect compliment. That's a three. Uh, a three. Okay. <laughs> you find nothing, unfortunately. You hey, desperately fuck root you. around trying fuck. to find something hidden. Shit. Uh just this is a point for all of our chat out there because uh unfortunately because Darcy uh, spent a, a point of desperation. They were trying to find a sort of harder to find item, um, but sadly, a three gets you zilch. Cool, 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 cool. I do not have final girl energy. Thoughts and prayers. Yes, is it? So, um, I know we were talking about having been like bl playing hide and seek and crap. Um, have we been anywhere else aside from this room in this hotel in this inn? Uh, yeah, I will. I will reveal it to you uh, as time goes on. And um, you kind of have been around the hotel. It's just more that you are barely remembering the layout in your panic. Okay. But I've kind of opened up those rooms so that you have a sense of roughly the okay. direction. But if you tell me that you want to head towards that room, I will tell you the quickest route and which doors. To okay. Go. I was maybe like, like, do I know where the stair stairwells are? Okay. Um, yeah. It, it's also very important for me to note. You see where these red lines are on the map. Yeah. Um. 
Locked doors. Somebody has been in here. Um, they have barricaded those doors. So they actually need to have barricades uh, removed if you want to go anywhere. Um, and I probably should have said that at the start and I completely forgot. So apologies and please bear with me. Okay. Um, so yes, those three doors. So you've barricaded yourself in. Um, so yeah, I can see you've got like a, a cross to say nobody can come in here without having to remove that barricade first. But um, those three doors with the red lines, they are barricaded as well. So currently you are completely barricaded in right. this room. Basically. Okay. Uh, can I, is there a fireplace in this room? Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, is there, and... I, yeah, I ask because it might make the difference between a survey and a scavenge, whether or not I can find some kind of wood axe with, with which to make removing the barricades easier. Cool. So it's it's more a uh, um, you tell me what action you're gonna take, and gotcha. I will tell you if if you find something. And it, what you find really depends on the the roll of the dice. Okay. Um, so it's not something that you can look for something specific mm -hmm. okay. uh, in this game particularly. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, do a a survey then, just so I can get a, a more top level overview of what's going on. Sure. Uh, so, a survey will get you any apparent items, so please roll your dice. Uh, um, it is a deep 12. All right, let us go ahead and roll the, the cute little snowy glittery one. Yeah! Uh, that'll be a nine. A nine? What was it you wanted to find? Hopefully a wood axe so, to, to make the barricade removal easier. So you wanted to, so you have found an improvised weapon, which I will allow to be a wood wood axe. Um, it is not for barricading, um, or removing barricade. It it I will tell you what it does. Um, so you may use this to make a fight act once, which will drain the foe's monstrous act by one, um, unless the attack is avoided. So uh, it is a one-time use thing. It looks a little bit like the, the hatchet's a little bit loose on it. So you get the sense that if you use this thing, it will probably break. Um, but you have a weapon to make a fight act once with. Um, I'll kind of look at it. You have to... I'll kind uh -huh. of look, at it, look over at, um, at Fives and Rex, who I assume are probably like kind of near each other, and toss it at both of them and see who catches it. <laughs> this is a I bad idea. Back. I got my back for you. Mm. I I'm bear but you're making an attack action against your foot. No, I'm just kidding. 50-50 um, <laughs> chance I grab it by the blade. Uh, do you know what? Roll, roll, a, roll a, a d6 for me. Me or Joan? You, you. Oh, God. Mm. Mom, can we have Six. an axe? We have, we have axes. Uh, even, even says that um, Rex caught it. Okay. Uh, by by the way, I <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I so have it. This, this makes perfect sense actually because uh, I don't know if it was heard by Joan because I think Joan was having technical difficulties at the same at the time. But um, Cade uh, did ask out loud, "Does anyone know of any weapons that we can use?" So it would make perfect oh. sense that you would then throw the the axe to her. Um, yeah. And I think Joan was having some difficulties at I the time. I did not hear that. Yeah. They them beautiful. They them. Yep. Correct. Sorry. Um, it's never, it's just, this is the axe we have at home. Yep. <laughs> I grab like, it. Rex, heads up! What'd you, grab it. what'd you roll? What? What'd you roll? Me? Yeah. A six? No one's rolling. Oh, you told her to roll for, uh... Yeah, to see who it, who it went to, and it went yeah. to, um... Okay, I missed Rex. that part. <laughs> I just Gask. Get all the Gask said the axe we have at home is the body spray. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming out, Gask. I appreciate you. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna nod, and I'm gonna say <laughs> thanks. Yep. And I'm gonna keep at it. Um, yeah. Conserve the wet wipes. <laughs> I kept the wet wipe in my pocket just in case I needed close again them. my own blood. I close the wet wipes with the axe. <laughs> Chaos. Okay. We deserve so, this. So far, Kate, Kate has asked if anyone knows of any weapons nearby. Um, 
Zumi has found an axe and has taken one action to do so. Uh, I think Millie has taken one action as well. Um, and Kate has taken one action. So you, the, those of you that have taken one action have three actions left. And I think um, uh, Fives is the only one that has not taken any actions yet. I want to cronwall this barricade. And by that, I mean, check it hard into the boards. Which so means you want to hit it with my shoulder. You, you want to get rid of it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, which uh, barricade is it that you're wanting to do that to? The one that is I am next one? to. Yeah. Okay, so you're just going straight. So the moment that, that Cade r- yells out, yeah. no, I know where any weapons are. Uh, There's a fucking spiked stick in the <laughs> in the room. Run straight for the door. Um, and you can. You can remove a, a barricade. I believe it's a desperate act to do okay. so. What do I mean? Uh, so I think that means that you mark off one... Uh, one desperation. Everyone in in everyone's character starts with six desperation. All right. Um, so you will now have five. I will do uh, it with my plus two pencil of sharpening. Eight. <laughs> Joan, Joan went. Let me make a ho- let me make a hockey reference for this barricade. Oh, people didn't get it. Let me explain it with a more complicated hockey reference. <laughs> oh, okay. crown walling is more specific than checking. Let me just remove that very barricade. Very funny way to do that. I have removed the barricade. So now you can, if you like, spend another action, and any one of you can. You can use a uh, simple act to move into that room. I'm gonna do it. So you're going in. Okay, that's going fine. In. I will just remove the f- the fog of war for you. And nothing bad. Okay, will be and fine. I die. Yeah. So. Uh, we have Did. Melanie in here. Melanie, it's me. And okay, cool. Um, so you've used all your actions now. Um, so that is all that you can do. So you okay. just barge down this barricade and run into that room. Uh, Millie, Izumi, and uh, uh, Cade, what else are you doing, if anything? Um, as soon as I see uh, Fives run off. Try not to split up. Take your buddy. <laughs> Remember, we have buddies on this strip. Mama signed them. Please, please keep listening to mom. <laughs> really get your I'm buddy. going to get the spike stick. <clears throat> cool. With, that, with uh, that instruction, I'm sticking with Rex. Rex is my buddy. Rex is my big sister. Okay. I'm sticking to you like glue. So you're staying in this room? Are you doing anything else in this room? Um, I'm gonna survey the room, if I may. You're gonna survey. You absolutely may. Um, roll a d12 for me. Okay. Uh, that's a three. Three. Three gets yeah. you nothing, I'm afraid. That's okay. Um, awesome. How- that's all my actions, right? Yeah. That's all your actions. I think Millie still has one action, and Mum still has one action. Sick, sick, sick. Kind of, uh, look over at Millie way like, with a striver now. Amazing. I'm gonna uh, just call him mom. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I look over at Millie and I say, Millie, you're with me, we gotta go upstairs. She said to stay with, they said to stay with Buddy. They're my buddy. Okay, look, everyone, you said you remembered something useful. Where is your shit? Upstairs. Okay, come through to me. Okay, okay, okay. You're my buddy now, Kate. You're with, you're with Mel. Okay, fuck the system. Let's go. <laughs> Ma! Uh, okay. Ma! Ma! What? I'm gonna toss you the wet wipes. I closed them. Thanks. That's uh, I love. You. That's why I love you. Okay, fine. <laughs> Shall I try this barricade? Because I've got an action, and I'll do another desperation. I don't care. I'll try this barricade if you want, Mom. I have not used any desperation yet. I'm happy okay, to. Okay. You're leading. You're leading. I would, Millie's terrified. I would like to use my mum rage to try and uh, remove barricade. <laughs> okay, you're gonna move the one that your token is by. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Perfect. So you are heading towards the west stairwell. Yep. Uh, I will just remove that barricade for you. Um, so that is your two. Uh, the, that is your action. So Millie, are you doing anything else? Because you haven't taken an action yet in this room. Millie. Millie, I'm Millie so bit sorry. Um, yeah, I'll move into that room then. I'll like help, I'll help okay. um, pull those last things aside and then just go barreling in. Okay. 
Sorry. So you are Gask is being gross going... in chat and it's <laughs> throwing what? me. What? That's a very wholesome thing to say. I don't think Gask. Gasp... Hammer. I can't. Bad hammer comes down. And apparently I have to stop typing. I'm so sorry. Clack, 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 clack. I'm sorry, I'm I have a Gar mechanical keyboard. Humor. It's a razor. Clack. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. Let's try to uh, uh, let's try to maybe use the mute if the typing is getting a bit loud. And also tell me if my typing is loud because sometimes I'm typing too and it might be me. Um, no, so, it's me. Uh, cool. So, uh, Hayden and Isimi are still in this room and then Melody's run off there. Millie's run off in the other direction. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Always um, split the party. Yeah, exactly. Um, it is at that point, my friends, mm. that um, you and and Kate, you're standing right by the door, so you would certainly hear this. You can hear voices outside speaking in German very fast. Um, at that point, all of you hear the sound of some kind of uh, wooden uh, uh, apparatus, like breaking wood cracking, um, followed by the sound of a smashed window. Uh oh. Um, I will give you a general direction. Um, Melanie, you are in prime spot to hear this. On your uh, left, so up where you can see the words written eight ruined wall. Can you see that? Yeah. Roughly around there is where you hear this uh, wooden crack coming from. Okay. okay. Um, you also hear, uh, if I can just get the pointer, can you all see the pointer? Yes. Yeah. Yep, so In this direction, somewhere around here. So um, could be 10, 11 or 12 no another that's where the smash came from mm -mm. okay mm -mm. cool and then um whatever it is just taking his turn so tell it to stupid. fuck off <laughs> yeah tell it to fuck the fuck off we do that yeah and it works and we win the game thanks for coming out everybody yeah. bye. Bye. That's bye. All right. <laughs> that's how i that's how i won at pax <laughs> I told them to just give me the item, and they did. I was there. It was beautiful. You did so in song. Yeah. It, I am yeah. just checking what else they can do. So, oh, okay. So that that's what you have hard. to do. What is their other? Cool. Um. So, uh, do you know what? Let's make this fun. One of you roll a 1d12 for me. Any one of you. I'll do it. My D12 is right here. And I rolled a 12! I hope that's good! You okay. rolled a 12. Freaking fantastic. No, when the um, DM says that, it's not good. Shortly after, you, you hear another smash. Uh, uh -oh. and, uh, Melanie, it's you that's hearing it, and it is from the same direction. Guys! <laughs> Smashy okay, noises! And let me just move. I don't like what this thing's going on in the background. That we can't see. Yeah, you're so sorry. No. Sorry, not sorry about what I said. This is why okay. this shouldn't be a GMless game because you should have skin in this game. It should be you mm. about to die as well. I... Nah. Hey, I, I agree. can get some skin in this game. I can get some skin in this game. I'm on your side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, cool. I don't think that's true. Hmm. That is... Why? That's a lie. Temptation needed. What? Uh, what's the problem? Uh, okay. Cool. Um, that is... There you go. Done. Okay. Done and dusted. So um, it is now your go, and again, you each get two acts. I'm going to ask you to be a little bit. You can you can discuss, but I'm going to ask you to be a little bit more uh, rather than here, there, and everywhere. Like, mm -hmm. tell me your two acts, one after the other, because I just so we can try and get a little bit of pace up. That's fair. Um, yeah. So uh, cool. Let's start with uh, Kate. If you have an idea of what you're doing next, buddy system. Ma said so, so we're doing it. Uh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. go charge my way. Um, I, I know that there was sounds, and I know that um, 
Fives is alone right now. So I'm going to go, one, follow into the next room to go where Fives is going so that the buddy yep. system stays active. Cool, that's one act. Two, I am then going to... And uh, just to be clear, if... um, And I know that... And, and Fives, you can choose to kind of go wet in the direction that you yeah. wanted to go. Let's just go to be clear, the room. best the best uh thing is this way yeah yeah exactly Great. that's the best so i will remove that for you so that would be my first action and Cade's second action right um yeah now i'm trying to remember i feel like you can't take the same do you remember yeah. this stuff you can't take the I'm... same twice or the same type of action twice like you can't move and then move again I believe. Oh. I don't remember. Uh, it's possible. Let me just check that. If it, if it, if you can, that's sounds fine. fake. It sounds fake. Yeah, it's <laughs> sus. Ah, uh, play. You guys are not even ready for this awesome prop that I just made. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> I'd so like to excited. stand in the doorway. So I'm watching Melanie and um, make sure that Fives is good. So I'm gonna give a nod to Fives, um, and I'm gonna survey the room again, this hallway. Nice. Absolutely. Uh, roll me a d12. Absolutely. Hey, that's, a, that's a 10. What do I find? What's that a 10? 10. Holy heck. I'll tell you what you've just found. You're going to flip and love it. Oh, no. I already, um, I already you, do. Is it, is it a magazine? <laughs> you look, as you enter this room, you give that nod to fives. And then just in the corner of your eye, hanging on the wall, you spot a double barrel shotgun <gasps> just up on the thing. And you I... take that. So you now have a double barrel if I may, shotgun. Oh no. I am going to, with one hand, take the, spin the fake axe, this like axe, take the double barrel shotgun, sling it into place, and, and now double fisting weapons. Take something <laughs> else. So and much. I'm, I wish for. Oh, say that again. I whisper, thanks, coach. A single <laughs> tear runs down my eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to just quickly pop mm -hmm. in the chat uh, what the double barrel shotgun does so that you can uh, have a little look. Okay. Which uh, chat? Which chat? Oh, There's three chats. Uh, the Holly Jolly Chris Massacre. Roll it. Roll the D12 chat. for which chat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which, which chat is it? That's up to you to find it. That's not my problem. I survey the chat. Oh damn! Oh, oh iconic! Whoa, I'm gonna murder so every cultist for what they did to my mother figure. The user can make two right. fight acts without spending desperation, or you may fire both barrels at once. A fight act which costs no desperation and makes the attack total take one less act on their next turn. That's fucking sick. I can also fight foes in adjacent rooms through open doors. Which That's means good. I got you. I, I'm locked on. Noise. We're locked noise on. on. I would okay. Well, I, I want to let you know that the sounds are coming from the north. So and, and the south. Um, yeah. So over you around. have sounds coming from all around you. Um, Fine, I got the it. area Ooh, that um, and and I I think that um, uh, Mom and Millie will have heard that the sounds are very much coming from behind the direction that they're going. So you haven't heard way. any sounds coming from your, like where you're running to. It's all on the kind of east side of the hotel is where the action is happening. Um, okay, so Melanie, quick question. Are you doing anything else? You've run into this room. You haven't done anything else yet. Uh, so I can't go into the second room then? No, I, I okay. uh, yeah, that was what I was looking up, wasn't it? That was the um, one move. Because I couldn't go in the move with you. That's fine. Um, oh, yeah, I guess so you can only, uh, I guess I'll do a survey also. I'm just gonna, I just want to check to make sure that that is definitely the thing. Give me a movement. It doesn't say it. I think what I was thinking of is when you survey and when you scavenge, mm -hmm. you can only do that once per, per room. room. And yeah, I think right. that's what I was thinking of. Cool. So, um, okay, cool. So then I'm going uh, into Sharon's room. Institute. You're going into Sharon's room. And yeah. for your free, uh, a free action, you can immediately pick up 
that hockey stick. Well done. Oh my god. Let me the tape's coming it. off. I love the the, the forks. The forks. I gotta make a gift of that. That's incredible. Cool. Oh, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the stats for it. It is. This is from the uh, the Blood Eel uh, book, and it, the stats. I'm I'm basically reflavoring a snow shovel. Uh, incredible. Into a sort of spiky hockey rat, stick thing rat, to be a little rat, bit more thematic. So, um, can I tell you, and I can tell you any time that you need it as well, if you forget, it's okay. I can write it. Um, when you use the fight act with this, um, on a result of a five, or, roll a d6, and on the result of a five or a six, the foe loses another monstrous act. Nice. Nice. So, oh, you can drain some acts real quickly. Um, <laughs> we won't talk about the fact that what I'm using using the monstrous act core is of how quickly the sun is rising and i'm just giving you things so the sun will rise quicker mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah time is I'm time is giving you the wonky control over time is. apparently yeah uh yeah <laughs> you know when you just watch and it's like they're waiting for the sun to rise and it could not go any more slowly mm -hmm. and you're like that, that's not how okay. that works um, a watch sun cool. never boils <laughs> a watch sunrise <laughs> all right We've got a buddy system one way. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the buddy system the other way. What are Millie and uh, Mum doing? I'm just screaming, Mum, hey. come on, come on, Mum! Um, he Mum, team dead. <laughs> so we did hear sounds coming from behind us, yes? Yes, so, right. yes. so you know that <laughs> buddy pair number dead. one are heading towards danger. We but... know they're dead. It, it's sad, but it's the reality <laughs> of this horror movie. We can survive. Final girl energy. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Woo! I mean, literally just like Terminator style to save your ass, because we have every weapon in the game right now. Yeah. I turn back, uh, I turn back, I lock eyes with Cade, because, uh, with Rex, because we're both, like, you know, still with an eye shot. Rex, you think you're good, or do you want us to come with you? I'm gonna cock my gun. Meet Wayne Gretzky. I'm fine. <laughs> Woo! Great one! Great. Motherfuckers! I point at the barrels. Wayne and Gretzky. <laughs> Great. Noise. I'm gonna go ahead and use the move action to hop into this room. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's and, one action. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and can I move into room seven? You Wait, you, you can. Room seven? Where are the um, steps? What is your what is your what is your goal right now? Are you heading towards um? Are you heading towards the thing that you were looking for, or are you just what, are you just exploring at this moment? My goal right now is to try and is to uh, look at all the rooms available to me here to make sure there's nothing hiding in wait to ambush us on the way up the stairs. Okay, fine. You can uh, you can head into room seven. Yes, please. That is cool. So let me just remove this in room seven, and it seems empty. I mean, obviously Did you, you say... scavenged or done like done any looking around for things, but. It's, Wayne a, it's, it's not got any people in it. You don't see any danger in there. Cool. Well, so you are seven. currently standing in room seven. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Millie, what are you doing? Um, you can see at the far end of the hallway, the, the stairs, the door to the stairs yeah. is barricaded. That's where I'm going. I'm going to move along there and try and remove that barricade. Yeah, that, that's is... fine. So that's the desperation that's arc, correct. that one desperation arc. I'm plowing through it. I'm down to four. Let's fucking go, and then I'll move, <laughs> I'll move into the stairwell. Okay, absolutely, you can do that. Let me just get rid of your barricade. The whole time I'm screaming, Mom! Mom, come on, let's go! And let me just get rid of your father of war. So you are moving. I leave you with your nickname, Wet into White. Into the stairwell. <laughs> yes. Um, and what I will do for the for the purposes, of, I'm going to put you in this in between stage. I'm not going to make you take an action to run up the stairs. Okay. It's just you are both downstairs and upstairs now. So just tell me in the upstairs bit, I want to move, and I will. Okay. You know, it, it's okay. You're in that in between stage. You're kind of halfway up the stairs. For now, cool. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for mom. Yep. It's no like worries. Thinking about being upstairs, downstairs. Mm. Downstairs, downstairs. You're both top Very and bottom. Downton Abbey of you. Woo! <laughs> um, cool. I think that's all of your goes, right? I think so. 
So now it's the turn of, uh, well, something. So let's see what. Uh, oh, let's go for death. This is Gory Howe, just so you know. Uh, uh, okay. Gory Howe. So uh, you didn't see anything in that room. Uh, but at that moment, uh, Mum, the door uh, to your to the right, um, no. on, on the map, uh, swings open. No. And this fella walks no. in. I've made a cute <gasps> little token. It is a, a, a man dressed in winter clothing. He's holding an axe. Um, he's looking pretty savage. And he just shouts something in German at you, which you, you're not sure what he's shouting, but it seems aggressive and it oh, seems no. angry. He's got a bit of a maniacal grin upon his face. Um, and he is going to think. Can I shout as a free action? <laughs> you can cry. <laughs> you can absolutely as a free action. Crying is always a free action. Waiting, Gratsky! <laughs> um, he is going to uh, slash the uh, axe at you. Um, now, the way the game works is that this will automatically deal damage to you. So uh, you uh, can mark off one wound. You have one wound upon you. Gotcha. Um, one more and you're dead. Cool. Uh, so that is that one. I dub the wet wipe. <laughs> they are in the room with you. You're no um, longer. Please give me a nickname. At this point, Word. my friend here moves into this room. <gasps> oh so, God, Jesus. Uh, you can <laughs> see. Um, you can see. It just walks out of this room, and he kind of his eyes uh, look lock on yours, Cade. Um, and then he hears uh, Melanie shouting from inside the room that you know, in victory, I got the I got the hockey stick. Gordy, how? Uh, a grin spreads across his face. Terrifying. Um, it's okay. I'm cool. gearing up for a Gory How hat trick. At the same time, I'm so sorry, but I'm also not sorry. No, not. Uh, someone runs out here and into the same room as you. They charge at you, Cade, yeah. and they hack and slash. So you have one wound currently. <gasps> I knew you were taking the wet wipes! This is spiraling. I'm gonna beat the All crap right. out of these people. All right, but you do. The two of you do have weapons. Weapons mm -hmm. are plenty. So, um, and what I will say is, currently, like this is these are just people. Okay, so currently, it's not a loop. Um, all right. I just need to check one thing. Okay, uh, who else wants to roll a d12 for me? <laughs> Go on, Jen. Roll that d12 with all That's the enthusiasm. Awesome. Mom's gonna roll a d12, and she's gonna get a 12. I'm so sorry. Uh, a 12? That's that. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, okay. Indeed. You hear? Uh, just so just as the uh, that man uh, that kind of is locked eyes on UK just before you were hit by the other person. Um, was I hit? You yeah. Were hit. Yeah. You have. Oh, you've been hit by this person oh, oh. right next to you. Uh, they came in through number ten, so they just came straight into your room. Um, that person that's kind of now making looks at uh, Melanie's room, the room that Melanie is in, um, kind of leans back and shouts something in German, and then you hear a woman's voice shout back from the same room that he's just come from. Um, so let me uh, and that is their go so we're gonna move back um let's move back to shall we start with uh shall we start with um team uh team fucked <laughs> team dad a moment should we start with team fucked and see how we get on 
Which one is team fucked? I mean, that's us. That's, that's you. you. That's, 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 that's. No, we're team dead. We're <laughs> team shotgun, so not necessarily. Mm. Okay, You're well, team I'm team. gonna come into the hallway and beat the shit out of this dude with my gory how. I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna yell, FIVE HALL! Woo! <laughs> All right. So, you absolutely can. So, you are gonna make a fight act. Uh, 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 let me just remind myself. So, you have the fight act in front of you. Uh, attack them in the same room as you. In fact, uh, they are engaged uh, to the next hand. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. The foe will awesome. I'm terrified, Joan. I'm really scared. If that makes you feel any better. One yes. Outside, but it's another outside. I just want you to know that I totally did prop making in college. It shows. It really does. I love it. That. It really does. No. <laughs> <laughs> I said just it in, in chat, case, but it bears repeating that like the foxy washi tape really makes it. It really it sets really it up. Makes that. Mm -hmm. That's special. Uh, That's what we got here is we got a fork. Mm -hmm. We have a um, loom hook. We have a random green crystal mm -hmm. and a Notre Dame letter opener. Nice. Okay. Perfect. So Perfect. you make the you make the you make the fight act. Yep. Um, I want you to uh, roll a d6. So you're drained their monstrous act mm. by doing so. Cool. Um, so I'm rolling a red metal d6. Yeah. Two. Me. Two. Uh, oh damn! Unlucky. Um, so they are oh. wounded, but they are not. Uh, they are not slain. Wait, doesn't my born to fight thing have any bearing on this? No, that's like you can have um, three. You're hard to kill, right? Mm -mm. No, yeah, born that's something fight. else. But born fighter, don't I get like a free fight action or something? Please hold. Let's Ooh, find out together. Hold on, be please hold. Let's find out together. Born fighter, you may use. So it's a directly after a foe uses their monster attack to enter the same room as you, you may use the fight act rather than waiting for your turn. So you could- so you could, so Oh, you could well, I entered it. the room to fight them, so... Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm pulling up- Okay, same. okay, so you I'm basically get, like, a, a reaction thing. So if they had run into the room with you, you could have, like, fought them. Um... Okay, fine. Uh... Okay, so you- yeah, you have wounded them. Sort of- go with the hockey stick right across the face and like the you catch their cheek and they're like oh, got a yeah. great big gash on the side of their face now and they kind of yell out in surprise um but uh you have not hurt them and they are in engaged with you now um but you can if you want uh escape the room it will cost you a desperation no i'm gonna stay here and beat the shit out of them <laughs> they're gonna kill Hell you yes. next to they can't kill me in one hit can they? You, you have- movie? you've not taken any hits yet. Okay. So. Oh, you'll right. be fine! Wait, but we heard, um, uh, we heard- But you did hear another- there. another one coming in from Yeah, the but if room. they come into the same room as me, then I get to fight them for free. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I think that also <laughs> debuffs them a little bit. If anyone should like a barbarian. this stand, it's Joan. A hundred percent. I'm an enforcer. You are- you are taking the risk, but, um, yeah. You yeah, can also, uh, them. if- if uh, if you use the fight action when they come in, you negate the rest of their acts this turn. Yeah, that is right. Listen, as listen. long as they don't avoid the attack. But yeah, if it's what your character would do. However, it does. It looks like it does Absolutely borrow, and it does. It looks like it does borrow an act against your next turn, so you'd have one fewer act. Listen, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna just let the fucking goons have direct <laughs> access to the my goons character. are fucking. I mean. <laughs> It's How is there so cult? many of them? Maybe. Go. Maybe. Uh, okay. Just saying. Uh, hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna say, Oh, you speak German? I speak German too. Frohe Weihnachten, du dreckest hier. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And then I shot them. Ah! Shotgun? 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 What did you say? Shotgun, one barrel. That's not how you say Merry uh, Christmas one barrel. in German. <laughs> The shotgun item instantly kills them when used. One barrel, I got one so, left. You got one barrel left, um, and Let's you, you shoot, go. and they are immediately blown right back. 
I do you have a at high. Holy shit. That's Holy my fucking shit. captain! K just okay. killed the guy. Now, the shotgun, can you use it in an adjacent room on something in an adjacent yes. room? Yes, but and I can't. And I see nothing that tells me that you can't fight more than once in a turn. So if you want to, you yeah. can do two fight actions and you can try and kill gonna... this one. That it's... It looks I'm just like going it does... to... It looks like it does specifically say that the user can make two fight actions without spending their desperation. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn it and then I'm gonna look over and I'm gonna say, I use my good, I lose my good line early, gazoon tight, and then I shotgun them. <laughs> Noise. All Wait, right. The one that's engaged um, with me. So Cade has immediately killed you. You feel as this bullet kind of whizzes past, um, and it w whizzes past your ear, uh, nice. five, and straight into uh, the wound that you just opened up on the side of their face and they collapse to the floor. So those two are dead. Let me get rid of them because we don't okay. need them anymore because you have destroyed them. No, um, that's the deadline is, for you. Your shotgun is now out of ammo. Yeah. So yeah, you I, have, I, there's nothing yeah. I can do with it so I can toss no, it No, you, you, can, you can kind of throw it away. Um, you could toss it to the corner. If you I could fish. I could use the, the spikes to fish the bullet out of his neck. I don't think that's how this game works, but you can try that, and I'd love that. Well, I just want to say that so far you got um, two goals, and I got an assist. I'm gonna nod, and I'm gonna say, you know, but we're on the same team. We are. I'm just saying. All right. We're both part. You're on your way to a normal hat trick, and I'm on my way to a Gory How hat trick. Well, Gory and I trick. point to your stick. A Gory How hat trick is a Shall play. Shall we, move to the, assist. shall we move to the other team? Shall team we move mom. to Shall we move to team Mom is like wet less wipes. Fucked? Yeah, only half fucked. Um, We're not cool. fucked anymore. We're uh, cool. So uh Mom, let's go with you first. What are you doing? Alright, so um I'm going to make some bad choices. Um I'm gonna go ahead and um I'm gonna go ahead and use the escape move to leave the room. Yep. I'll let you mark off a desperation. Please hold. Penis, penis. Okay. You can absolutely do that. All right. Um, and then, um, Millie, because you were like right there, you can see as um, Izumi kind of like reaches into her back pocket, takes out a single wet wipe. From her other pocket, she pulls what looks like a small like glass flask. Mm -hmm. Pops the lid, stuffs the wet wipe ha half into the flask, pulls <laughs> the lighter. That's not gonna work, Mom. It's wet. It's not gonna catch. It's alcohol. She, she looks over. It's rubbing alcohol. The, on the wet what? wipe? Yes! You've been having us clean down with alcohol this whole time? You're gonna be in so much trouble? You're alive, I aren't you? I really having this. <laughs> The rebellious one, just like you're gonna be in so much trouble. It's all, it's all my rebellious choices of no, to this. Millie, Millie. Molotov wet wipe. I'm here for it. So Mama to talk. be clear, Mama what talk. happened was, at some point while we were like doing this and having this discussion and like starting to like think out what to do, um, basically Mom like had let her an entire packet of wet wipes dry out and then poured her rubbing alcohol into the package. I, I love Mom. Uh, Legit, I have I, done that before. I love mom. So, lighter. We've all done it. That's what wet wipe on fire. No disregard for her hand possibly ending up on fire, and just lobs it into the room. Oh, no. Um, okay. Guys, using the fight action. I'm like throw it at a foe in the same one adjacent room using the fight act. So it removes one monster attack from the foe's paws, and at the end of the next turn, as they are set ablaze. Okay. Cool. That's amazing. All right, so um, they are kind of set on fire. They kind of <laughs> immediately <laughs> just try to dampen themselves out. Um, all right, well, where are we time wise? Cool. Uh, so uh, that's you, Millie. What are you doing? Is that both of your actions? Yeah, I escaped, uh, and, then I escaped and then threw the Molotov. God so damn it! Ah oh, damn! Yes! I was gonna. <laughs> 
<laughs> <laughs> I would be in that chat right now, but my keyboard died. <laughs> I so when you were in there, I'm not gonna lie, I thought you were a goner, I thought you were dead. So my plan had been to barricade this door in front of me and then just go up the stairs. But Is I'm it not... Azumi just has like a like a slash in her shoulder and she's like, you what? She's literally got like a, a board in her hands like, uh... Okay, go, do it, do it. No, because then we'll be blocked off from each other. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm just Buddy gonna system. I'm just going to run up the stairs. Buddy system, let's go. Okay, yeah, let me... Okay, so you are already up here. Yeah. So if you want to move to the next room, uh, let me just... So Full there's no barricade up now. here. So you are up here. Uh, let me move your character oh to God. where Please you. Do. Um. So you were already in this room that I'm just put you in now. Okay. Cool. So cool. okay. So you move into yes. this room. Yes. I, you've put my item. Well. well, of course you did. So far away. Um. I'm because yeah, you I'm don't know where uh mom's item. Is. No. no. Um, because you probably have. Strongest item. I you just heard like it. sound of shattering glass. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. shut up. Um, no, we should be safe up here, right? Right. You hear I, the totally. Sounds Donna, from downstairs. What is the what is the not desperate uh, mm. survey? Can I survey the room? Yeah, survey is not desperate. Yeah. You can survey the room. Absolutely. Let's yes, see please. if we can find something cool. Um, cool. Roll a d12 for me. Yeah, that's gone so well so far. I shit you not, it's another twelve. Oh, that's amazing. When so I'll tell you dice, what you immediately well. see okay. on the wall. Oh. The first thing oh, that you see Lord. is um a um first aid kit. Oh. Oh thank God. Oh, okay. I and guess. you run over to it yeah. and uh, you take out some medicine, some bandages, the medical supplies and everything, because you did see mom get hurt. I did. So you know that this might be needed. It's not a uh, shotgun, but nah, okay. It's not because uh, the shotgun was a ten. You need to roll a ten. Damn it! Forget that. I know that you're excited, and I'm sorry, but medicine is really good. Sure. I know it's not yes, exciting it for you. We have multiple wounded people. Keep people. My friends alive. I suppose. Yeah, uh, hey, you're the goalie. Uh, that's your whole job. It's a real sacrifice for you, huh? <laughs> Having to play deep. I chose to set someone end. on fire instead of heal myself. I I, I love this. <laughs> okay. All so right. shall we move on? That's um, yeah. So it is now. Let's go. There you go. Um, Have we told them cool. to eat shit? If we were all straight, they would be het wipes. Oh, and I'm going to try to move through this as quickly as possible. Thank God that's um, nice. So, <laughs> uh, Melanie, your good friend, your good buddy, is running into the room with you. Take your fight action. Ah! That was my Eminem impression. That was really good. good. Was Thank really you. And I want good. you to roll that. I can do that better. D six. Yep. Yeah, I need you to roll it twice. I believe. Sweet. Uh, 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 uh. I got a one and a six. Ooh. Okay. So, uh, wait. What did I need you to roll it twice for? You got a six though, right? Yeah. Yeah. You immediately kill this person. Uh, because they are mortal. So if See, now I got a goal and an assist. Now you're yeah. all murderers. Yeah. Hooray. I'm not a murderer yet. Yet. Yeah. Give it a minute. Pure. Let's put this in here. If so, we were in Winnipeg, they would be jet wipes. <laughs> this person Hockey is going to... Oh, right. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. They are going to run. So, uh. If we were in Satessa, they'd be Satessa cat wipes. If we were at a concert, they'd be fret wipes. <laughs> or if it, you were at a concert and you had a list of songs to play, they'd be set wipes. Yeah, wipes. If you wish you hadn't brought them, they'd be regret wipes. <laughs> That's me about so, this joke. This that was shame that... in myself at saying such words. <laughs> right here. <laughs> they are going to run into this room with you. Okay. <laughs> but get wipes! But 
we are kind of approaching the halfway point. So, they go to raise their axe. And you know that you are about to be killed. Okay, Jesus. because you did not heal. You did not heal yourself. You did not barricade the door. So then their next go, they can take their second wound. Oh, However, God. you hear outside the sound of a gonging church Wait. bell. Question. Yeah. This is the guy right there, right? This is the guy right there. So, they only had the one move. Also, didn't I just take away more monstrous actions by mur murdering this dude? Yeah, but they have a- they have a- they, they only have the one act, right? Mm. Um, they have a- fr so, uh, the, these cultists have a free act that allows them to, uh, just mm. move into the next room. Nice! So, um, gong is gong the gong, uh, So, the Got bell you. is ringing, okay? And they stop mid swing and they look at you, and that awful maniacal grin grows wider. And they drop their weapon, pull their sleeve back, and you can see up their arm is bushels of holly sticking into their skin. There's blood dripping down their arm. And there are little bells attached to these bushels. Uh oh. I'm a holly and they jolly Christmas jingle bells, bitch. Begin to I'll shake your their arm. And these little bells begin to ring. Mm -mm. And they look at you in the eye and they go, Merry Christmas. <laughs> and then they They're run right. out of here. Right and through the window. Towards, towards where they, uh, towards where they came. How many fucking actions do they have? Jesus. This is uh, a cutscene. Okay. This is a freaking cutscene, okay? Let the cutscene happen. <laughs> Let Kat tell I'm a story. I'm spinning myself. Please stop questioning or I'll just have them kill you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> just saying if so they were you in a kind room, of, You kind of watch them go and you can see in that room there's a huge window. Um, and you are watching them as they get out and, and, and leave, and they're running away. And you think, okay, like, okay. where are they going? And there's a moment of silence, and the snow is falling. And then all of a sudden, the snow freezes in place. Snow is no longer falling. They're, you can see the individual snowflakes, but they are frozen in place. And there is a loud thud. I would like somebody to roll a d6 for me and tell me Got if it's it. an odd or an even number. Odd. Odd. Oh. oh. Odd. Okay. And then I would like someone else to roll a d6 for me. Alright. Oh, uh, I forgot it. Four. Darsington. Darsington. Got it. What did you get? Four. Four? Four. All right. Well, that is going to make things a little more difficult. Great. Millie, as Great. you were running down that corridor on the other side of that barricade, mm -hmm. you hear a loud, giant crash of glass. You can hear the wind whistling and the, the and the cold kind of comes in through those cracks in the barricade ahead of you. It's followed by a very low growl that builds into a roar. The roar sounds like a cross between a lion roaring and a tree falling over. One of those huge great pines. If you can imagine the kind of cracking and the kind of sound of that hitting the floor that is the kind of sound that you hear coming from that room and you feel so cold all of a sudden and with that we are going to take a 15 minute break um Woo! uh we will be back about 10 15 minutes so uh, i hope everyone is enjoying it so far i haven't had a chance to massively look at chat 
Um, but I think that we're having fun. And uh, Jen, I just saved your character's life. So thank, you. <laughs> thank God for cutscenes. And uh, cool. Um, let's come back for the final showdown with the Holly Man. If the white wipes hey. were actually dry all the time and that was super ironic, they would be Alanis Morissette wipes. Please come I back, I'm not gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and on that bombshell, see you in about 10 to 15 minutes, everyone. I'll talk to my joke after the break. Come back for the other joke. Come
Hi everyone, we are back. Um, we've stretched our legs, we've drunk some water, we've taken some food, whatever we needed we to do. Crimes. Yeah, pizza. exactly. We've committed a couple of crimes. Um, and we're back now to play the second half of uh, Bar the Windows, Bolt the Doors. Blood Yule Edition, which is, you know, that just sounds so cozy and friendly and fun. If you're here, uh, we're currently experiencing what can only be described as a Christmas massacre. Mm -hmm. um, no one is dead yet, but a couple of people are injured. Um, and our big bad, the Holly Man, has just arrived on the scene. And I'm sure that Millie is delighted. Um, so let's get straight back into it so what i first of all want to do we have a new enemy on the scene and and normally when you play this game i'm gonna just really shoot that out there it's normally against one enemy um you, you choose an enemy at the start of the game you kind of roll for it and that is kind of how you go until the end of their monstrous act i have just literally just like fiddled about with some stuff in my head and and made it so it's two um because apparently I hate my players. Uh, <laughs> um, for roommates. And I appreciate good storytelling, so I felt like this was this was fun. Um, so what I want everyone to do to kind of reward the fact that I have done some fuckery is I'm going to give you a little bit of fuckery back. I want everyone to get a free um, take a moment Ooh. action, so all of you can store one uh, desperation. Type. Can we go above. Ooh. Thank you. Can we go above max? Six is what you start uh, with. You don't max. It's like, oh, it's the typical starting one. That's fair. So you know, you know what? For for fun, yeah. Fun. If you had now, already had, if you already had six, I'll let you go to seven. Oof. I've now gone from being okay. We have a plan to I'm taking the fucking fight to them. <laughs> that is what's happening in Rex's mind. Okay. Well, I will tell you now that that thing was so loud that you all heard it. Um, so, you all know that Millie, or you at least know that uh, Millie and Mum were on their way upstairs. So, you uh, both know that they're kind of in danger. Um, Mum, you That's me. saw Millie disappear upstairs and then heard it kind of above you. Cade, I feel like you would kind of feel the the way that the, the building almost shook a little bit. Like the floorboards and the dust, you would see that coming from that central room, just through the thing, the way the dust pours down. So you would have seen at the end of the corridor as Millie run up, and then a moment later, dust, that huge loud roar. You know Millie is upstairs because you can see straight down that corridor. Um, oh, yeah. uh, Melanie, you will have heard it but you probably don't know where people are situated but you know it's coming from upstairs it's not down here with you whatever it is um and mum you definitely know that millie is in danger as well um and i will uh give you that um and i'm also going to give you so that the monster has arrived um but they're not going to take any actions or do anything just yet i'm going to give you your two acts each to do something while it's you know Apparently, roaring takes a long time for this mm. monster, so it's doing its thing. It's it's getting a lay of the land. It's mm -hmm. just arrived in this room, um, and you're watching as that uh, uh, um, mom. You're what I keep calling you, mom. <laughs> um, you're watching as that cultist is just legging it through the snow straight towards the trees beyond. Um, so, whatever it is, just arrived. They're terrified of it, but also seem happy to bring it to you. Um, Hashtag cultist, right? Mm -hmm. uh, um, cool. So let's uh, go. Who wants to go first? I have a question that will determine whether or not I go first. Cool. Go for it. So I can see, I can see on the map that obviously my direct route towards what I'm aiming for is directly through the room that I now know the monster is in. Yes. Do I know if there's a way? Is this a door or a window? Is this a door? Can I get I'm through? I'm just trying to... Or is that So I'm it? basically trying to figure out if there is another route for you. I mean, obvious, the obvious answer is go back downstairs, which is probably what's gonna happen. We're in a horror movie. <laughs> we are, we are. I am, movie. I'm... Okay, yeah, let me just figure out if there's another, like, if there's another route that you can take. Uh, that's not, like, you. directly into that room. I appreciate you being on our side. 
as players. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is another route you can take. Okay, do actually. I know what it is? And I'm gonna tell, yes. So I will guide you to go that way because even though I've got like fog of war up, it's just to kind of make it a bit more interesting. And if, for me, it was yeah. if the enemy was in that room, it would be revealed as you run into the room, basically. Um, but you do know the, the general layout of the hotel. Um, I'm, I'm happy so. to like spend a desperation on that to like, and I'll even play into it narratively if you really, really want to do that. You don't have to spend a de desperation okay. on it. Um, I think you know. I think you know the layout that you just have this moment of absolute fear mm -hmm. as you think this creature, and then you take a moment. Yeah. And so Millie, Millie's a rebellious you... person, and I feel like yeah. it's been a case of okay, girls, like everybody's a bed, lights out. Millie has been up since we've arrived in the evenings. Millie's been up at night, mm -hmm. taking probably probably Rex. And like creeping around, exploring, trying to steal extra snacks from the kitchen. So of everybody, I want to argue that she knows the layout of this hotel better than anybody. Yeah. Okay. And you know that uh, in the rooms, there is rooms that because you've kind of climbed out there. And at one point, I'm sure you attempted to climb on top of the roof for Absolutely. shits and gigs. Um, so in the in the so in the room that's just that you just heard the monster come into outside of that is a balcony um and that is where this one is do you see it mm -hmm. uh so you know that you can take a route that will take you basically into one of the dorm rooms yeah you can climb through a, a sort of it's like a i guess like a french window mm -hmm. that will take you out onto the balcony and around that room absolutely and then you can climb mm -hmm. in the other side and be in this area or oh, I'm just a hundred percent checking this is definitely possible before I start sending you over there and then <laughs> I'm on off. the roof and you're like, um, oh no, it's if, it's if that was the up. case, I would one hundred percent just allow there to be a door that's not actually oh, there because that would be completely my fault. Uh if but home alone it. Yes, you can you can absolutely do that. Okay. So there's straight ahead of you. Mm -hmm. It's barricaded, mm -hmm. right? But it is, you know, the monsters in there. Yeah. But if you yeah. take uh, this other barricaded yeah. entrance and head down in that way, yeah. um, you know that you can get across to this room that you're aiming for. Okay. Yeah. Let's spend the desperation, okay. remove that barricade, and then move oh, into that. Got one. it. Let's fucking go. Oh, God. So we are moving you in here. Full meta, no, like, if I can end this game by summoning Santa, I will be so happy. <laughs> Kitty! Pippin okay. is here! Oh. Okay. While we're at it, uh, what is everyone else doing? So, who wants to go next? I'd like to go upstairs, please. Mm. You can go upstairs. So you're in here. Is that one move in the stairwell, then one upstairs to the west, to the upper stairwell, or is it stairwell and then room? Let me go. I was allowed to go stairwell and then room. You are allowed to. You're, you So you can move into the stairwell, um, and then that will be like, it will be a free action to climb the stairs, basically. Okay. And then you can move into the next room. Um, just a reminder that you have one wound. Yep. Okay, so yep. if something were to come out and hurt you, you yep. would die. I'm gonna, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the stairwell and then I'm going to go ahead and use my medicine. Nice. Fucking fantastic. So you, as you're running up the stairs, uh, begin patching yourself up. You, you know, like, you, you took out of one pocket a fucking morsel. Um, and then you take out of the other pocket uh, your medicine and you begin to patch yourself up. Um cool and so you are currently in that stairwell all right um Thank who you. is next a uh, team dad is next yeah okay um so i here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna turn uh still looking for a nicknames in trouble and i'm going to uh, <laughs> survey the survey the hallway so I've already not survey, um, um, search. So actually looking in the hallway for stuff. So use the desperation. Okay. So in this room that you're in currently. 
the hallway, yeah, because I've already surveyed it. Yeah, yeah you've surveyed it, up. but you can um, do the, so, you're looking for yeah. something more. Okay, so that's a, your desperation. That's fine. Uh, let me just get the list up. Roll um, yeah, roll a d12. Come on, I mama, need the new pair of shoes. I got an 11, baby! Let's fucking go! Listen to me! You listen to me! You got an 11. I oh them. my god. You know what you just got? No, what did I get? <laughs> We're just talking about it. Is it a grenade? Um, did I get another shotgun? You, right, so you, you look around. Okay. You look, you, so you're desperately looking around. Desperately trying to think. And then you see like I, this, this teeny tiny like uh desk with a drawer that's slightly ajar and at that moment my head i of... hear shadows in my thoughts why are, why are these shadows <laughs> you see this like drawer? um uh, no because i'm gonna flavor it a little oh. uh you see this like um weird kind of like uh sparkle uh kind of appear above it um no. and it kind of draws you in and as you walk towards it you begin to, in your mind, hear the sound of like carols, people singing carols, and you're opening this drawer, and there is this beautiful book inside, and it is, uh, it, it literally just is written uh, on the title, um, a, a Winter's Tale. But when you open it up, it tells a beautiful fairy tale of how someone went to so much effort to bring their best friend back to life. Um, and it said, and they just needed to write, uh, repeat these words. And you know, in your heart, in that moment, that if any one of your friends dies tonight and you read that poem over their body, they will come back. Okay? Yes. Can so I request you... that I am the one who gets to decide what poem it is? Yeah, hey guys, I, hey guys. I made it a poem specifically for you, Fleet. <laughs> I knew wipes. that this was your time. Um, wipes. If we can make it a Poet smaller wipes. poem, that would be great. Maybe I, not I have, like it. <laughs> I have one thing in mind. I know what I'm gonna fucking do. I know, but I did. I did this for you because I was like, Fleet will want a fucking poem, and I'm gonna give her a poem. For people who um, don't know Fleet, Fleet is the kind of person who, when you do mic check when you're producing just rattles off a Shakespearean sonnet and you have to yes, stop them. Silly. This is who Fleet is as a person in their this soul. This is who Fleet is as a person. Uh, cool. Somebody wrote it. <laughs> Reaper wrote in chat, Revivify Wipes. Resurrect Wipes. Resurrect Wipes. Resurrect Poet Wipes. wipes. <laughs> we don't have the any wet wipes. We're allowed to dry out. <laughs> okay, oh. so what you've received is um, a flavoured book of forbidden lore. This may be read from once as a desperate act, so you have to take a point of desperation, um, okay. to return an outsider whose body is in the same room as you to life. So you have to be in the same room as them, okay? Um, removing all wounds and restores them to three desperation. Holy sh... Okay. I just became God? You only, there's only Sorry. one of these a game. Okay, so like you found you found the freaking jackpot. Um, all right, cool. We're happy. We're happy with that. This is a good find. Uh, gonna, you grab that. I'm gonna grab it, and as I do, I'm gonna give it a little gentle kiss, <laughs> and I'm gonna say, "Carols, not today. I'm from the Bronx, <laughs> and I'm gonna as like as threatening as I can to this book, <laughs> and I'm gonna put it away, and I'm I got the axe." And I'm gonna nod, and I'm gonna use a movement to start making my way towards the stairs to go help um, Millie Vanilla. Are you heading towards? I, I want to be clear about this. Are you heading towards East Stairwell to get upstairs quicker, or are you going to go all backwards towards the West where you know Millie went? I don't. I don't know. I'm going to go the faster way. So here's the thing: East Stairwell is barricaded off. Obviously, Fuck. you have your thing that allows you to... I've, I've already moved, done my action, though, so I can't use it. Well, you had two, don't you? Because you stayed in the same room. Mm. Oh, true. Yeah, then I'm going to remove this barricade. Yeah, 
remove the barricade. Um, so, uh, roll a d6 for me. Where'd my duckies go? Ducky? Ducky. Do not know where that rubber duck dice went. Uh, oh, found it. It was on the other side. That's a one. Uh, a one. So, um, you still have to spend some desperation, unfortunately. Uh, okay. you, you have this moment where you kind of shut this book and you that, that feeling of peace subsides a little that you that you felt wash over you before and you think, holy oh, shit, what the fuck am I doing? I, this, this, this is not the time for slow openings and resets. <laughs> can, um, can I ask to reflavor it? Because I remind you I am Jewish. Yes, yes, absolutely. You can. I feel the fires of revolution in my bones! Yeah. I feel the heat of the Maccabees! <laughs> and I cry in violence! And then it Mother. subsides. And, and I know peace. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, reflavor it oh, in whatever way you want. That makes me very happy. Okay, so I guess that leaves Melanie. Melanie, what are you doing with your two acts? To remind you where Melanie oh, is at. Damn, I forgot you, my name was Melanie. Joan, that's it's five. Not. It's Fives. Uh, How dare. That's dead. you, Fives. Um, you, it's my rope To child. remind you where you are, you just yeah. uh, killed someone um, <laughs> with a spiky, pocky stick. Um, you've watched Cade run off as this. Yeah, I'm going to uh, follow. You're going to follow. Cool. So you're going in there. So that's one act to go in the same room. Um, okay. You can continue to run past them towards the stairs if you want. Um, can I lower my initiative? Um, uh, already searched and surveyed this room. So, yes, yeah, so the survey and the um, scavenge has happened in this room, I believe, already. So, gotcha. Wait, can I pen uh, Cade's wound? Uh, do you have? Oh, actually. There's what? blood in my jugular, and I am become so raged and roided out by these Hanukkah memes. Yeah. And I have you forgotten. can. You can remove hey, a hey, wound. Hey, hey, Yeah, yeah. So, go. uh, yeah, because Kate had one. Go on. Have some guilt. Just carrying guilt around? For you. We're gonna talk about this later. I don't know how I feel about this, but thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so to tend a wound is a desperate act to mark off one desperation, but you can run in the room and immediately head over to Cade, who is running towards the door and kind of removing this barricade. Um, and you can kind of mo momentarily patch up their wounds, uh, stop the bleeding, that kind of thing. Um, cool. You have all made your things. So now it is my turn. <laughs> uh, let me just get it up. What they do? Tell us what they do. I'll tell you what they do. So, how many acts? Okay, so they have. Got it. Got it. Okay, so first thing that our good friend here does. Is. Uh, let me just. Oh no. Also, check this out. Check this out. Custom token. Uh, oh no. Yeah, I made this token. Feel free to zoom in and show it up. Like, I have you made this it? monstrosity. Um, I'm about to show you. Uh, they crash through this barricade and into this room. Okay. First up. Oh, why does he have little ornament appendages? That's a lot of How do you? How did you get this photo of me? I thought in the shower. How did? You... Wait, is that a fucking Holly Demogorgon? Yes. Holly Demo Holly. It is a Holly Demogorgon. It's a Holly Gorgon. Wait, is, is that is that just like Medusa, but like with some Holly in her hair? No, it's a Demogorgon. <laughs> like a Demogorgon, like from Stranger Things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the Holly yeah. version. It go bleh. Unreal. Unreal. Okay. Wait, before and Jonah and I had Spags, now we have the... 
the fuckery the fuckery I had to do to, to make this as well it's is amazing. quite That's really good. Oh my um, god. Okay, so they go into this room. The second thing that they do, they have two two places that they can go. Okay. However, it's adjacent and there is no barricade between them. They are going to see you, uh, Millie. Millie Vanilli, no. Um, because in that moment, while you were all doing your thing, they were taking the scent of oh, everything God. around them. Oh, and they felt, they, they can smell that you were most recently in that room and they've immediately followed that. Oh, um, they are not in the same room as you, but... Uh, this kind of weird, it's, it's, you, you, what you're looking at is, it looks like a man, but it's like, um, made up with, uh, sort of like bone armor covered in frost. Okay. Um, and instead of a head, it is just a bushel of holly. I hate that. Um, a with lot. these huge, uh, holly leaves just kind of unfurl. And reveal this horrible, like, uh, just it's... bushel of berries. Um, that's what you see. Um, so wait, and... if it has no nose, does that mean it tastes with it? Like smells with its tongue, kind of thing. It yep. smells with the berries. It smells with the berries. Oh. <laughs> smell their berries. Um, smell their berries. And like some of these berries are kind of like moving around, like eyes and like. They're kind of like mm-hmm. pulsing a little bit. It's gross. It's a h- eldritch abomination, and I hate describing it. Actually, <laughs> um, but as they kind of open up, you see these kind of like jagged little uh, um, prickly Guys. leaves all over their body, okay. and they kind of raise up their hands, and from where their fingernails should be, Smell prickly nice. leaves shoot out at you. Um, I'm sorry, Jesse just killed Roll me. Roll a d6 for me, Millie. It's got a fucking range. Oh it's got a range God. attack. Fuck. I am it's always got the a ra- first to die in this fucking game. I rolled a six. You rolled a six. You narrowly avoid <gasps> the prickly leaves. You kind of dive to the side uh, and they go past you. But you know that they are deadly because they go straight past you and they embed into oh the wall behind my you. So God. they are... Freaking deadly. Okay, um, and guys, that's its go. That's what it's doing. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, it's that's that's all it's that's all it's got. Um, mm-hmm. But it has destroyed that barricade. It's crashed into this room, and then it has shown that it has a kind of like uh, a, a ranged attack, as it were. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. Who's going first? Shall we go back to Millie again? Shall we try and do this order? Unless anything, anyone has anything pressing that they do. I feel like I'm the most do? pressed right now. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's go with Millie first. <laughs> Millie, you. you, 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 go on to the side. Um, I feel like you would know then that this. Uh, let me get the pointer up so you can see. Uh, this room mm-hmm. is the next best room to go to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. To follow can your I do route. that. Can I? I'm going to be able to do two moves here, aren't I? So I want to put some distance. Yeah. So me. you can just move straight into the balcony. Mom, I'm so um, sorry. Mm. You're you're good. Yeah. Save yourself, wet wipe. It's just screaming. The thing is, you, the thing is, like, you are kind of this thing's target currently. Yeah, yeah. So, but you don't know. It could shift its attention once you dive into the room. It could shift its attention to mom. Um, you don't know. But I don't. Anyway, I think there is I a vague hope allow. that I will. I but will the keep vague atten- hope the that goalie. you have is in that letter. All right. Okay. Um. So you cl- run in here, and the window is actually already ajar. Beautiful. You kind of knock your arm into it and sort of climb out of it and you are now on the balcony that overlooks uh and you can see just in the distance you can see townspeople kind of milling at the uh the borders of the trees and they're just watching I they're not that. doing anything they're just watching as you all run f- and struggle for your lives um if i had it so within me i would flip them off but as it is, I'm just that scrambling is, in the snow. You're just running. Yeah. Those are your two actions. Yep. Let's head to mum next. What are you doing? All right. I'm kind of like looking at this Holly Gorgon. I'm looking at where Millie ran or where I think Millie ran because I think it, like it wasn't super easy to see her. Um, 
Does the Holly Gorgon appear to be kind of like looking toward me or looking toward the door that she ran through? It's looking at both of you. It watched her. It did its attack on her. But the moment that um, you kind of hear her like give out this yelp and then you hear a door open so you can tell that she's running away. Um, and it kind of looks at her frustrated that it didn't hit her and then it shifts to you and it looks at her. So it, it's kind of... Uh, actually, do you know what? Let me check because no that's a lie it would just shift its attention straight to you the moment right. that she got further enough away it would just go well you're closer uh. cool. all right um i'm gonna make some bad choices because i am right here um i'm gonna go ahead and take the move action to the room <laughs> okay <laughs> and then i'd like to take the escape action into the next room Ruined. I love it. You immediately get your little item. Uh, so you grab um, this intricate little, uh, it, as I said, it is um, it is a, let me find it actually so I can read it out to you. I'm just like slowly uh, edging along like the sides of the room, kind of eyeing it in the berries. <laughs> it is and I, like, dive past called it. a what? Yuletide necklace. Um, it is made of interwoven holly, mistletoe, pine sprigs, and bones as you pick it up oh. and you take a proper look at it. I'm this bone necklace, mom! Uh, this necklace protects you Ooh. from harm. It has a single use, which can be employed to negate any one negative effect to your person, including taking wounds, losing desperation, and so on. So you can choose at any point, if I say, all right, okay, you lose a desperation doing that, or you, don't, or, or say, you take no, a no. wound, you can say no. But... It can only be used once. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. So you you grab that and you tie it around your neck. Um, so you've gone in there. You haven't actually done anything else in this room yet, technically. So you've had one action. I oh no! Moved. Wait, you moved and moved yeah, again, moved. didn't you? So yeah, that's what you've done. And it watched you. Uh, it watched you go. Yep. As you watched you like. So you moved. So what you did was you moved and you escaped. So you yep. did lose a desperation for escaping. Okay. I did. Um, cool, cool, cool. Let me just get rid of this to signify that you have that now. All right. I love that. I love that we're like getting some of the items that uh, the cool items. I'm really excited that you went to them and enjoying them. Um, I love that also this is labeled the Holly Gorgon now. This is amazing. I love this. <laughs> okay. So, uh, next we're gonna go to Cade, if that's okay. You got what it. What are they doing? All right. I'm going up that hill, going up some stairs. <laughs> yes! the next building. Uh, Please don't start floating. That oh, I should totally have done something with that. I, at one float, point, yeah. I, I want to run this game again at some point, and I will absolutely do some Stranger Things shit. Um, Cool. Let me remove the um, fog of war from this one then. So you are going in there. So you can be upstairs now if you want immediately in this east stairwell. Right. Perfect. Uh, um, just to get things kind of moving around. What do you want to do next? Listen. Listen. Mm. Um, call me a prospector. Uh, because... <laughs> I'm gonna do some surveying. No, I'm looking around. I'm just looking around. I'm doing. I'm gonna search again. Okay. You... I want another shotgun. That's absolutely like... fine. So are you scavenging? I'm gonna. Or surveying, like just a just a, a like apparent items without using the desperation. Um, I don't think I can because I moved. So, um, I'm gonna lose the desperation and clock it around. Clocking around the Christmas tree. Okay, so you're looking for like the, the, the better items. Yeah, I'm looking for a good item for this. Come on, baby. Uh, okay, baby. roll me a D12. God, I believe in you. <laughs> okay, is a nine do anything? An, a on, nine? Baby. Give me a nine, yeah. Nine? Okay, yeah, you do find something. Uh, you you find <laughs> in this stairwell. Uh, randomly, as you go run up the stairs, there's like in the corner of one of the in the corner of the stairs, there's just a sack lying on the floor. Uh, you look at it; it looks like a great place to hide. Um, so I'm going to read it out to you. You can crawl into this sack to hide from foes 
as a simple act. So it doesn't require desperation. Um, foes ignore your presence for one round um, until you leave the sack at the start of your next turn. You may not move while in the sack. So no I can't fucking around take it. Sack. Come on. I can't um, solid take it. Around. I can't like <laughs> hop around from room to room. And the, and, and the sack is a one use thing. Okay. okay. Got it? So you have a sack yeah. that you can hide in if you or someone else if you want to give it to them can hide it. I will be um, giving it to someone else because that's not the Rex can, way. Can somebody <laughs> carry the sack? Hmm? Can someone when carry the there's sack? There's somebody in the sack. Can it be carried around? Um, you know, it's like something like basically you just put a sack on and then just stay still as a statue and like right. the thing will just not know you're there. I got so, a sack. Right. You got a sack, you're there. Say um, something else. It's your turn. Uh, sack, 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 sack. Fives, what you doing? I'm following the captain. Following the captain. Um, uh, so you can move into the stairwell. That's fine. So you're in the same place. Cade, just as a point of note, if you want to give the sack to five, you absolutely can. It's a free action to pass items around, but no need if you don't want going, to. This is going straight to Millie Vanilli. Yeah, Millie Vanilli. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, and then, Melanie, what are you... What uh, Your second action, if you're taking a second action, you're going in this I other room? I keep going, yeah. Nice. All right, so you are going in here. Yep. I'm in here. Okay. Cool. Um, so you are in that room. And um as an as a point of note, uh you're kind of two rooms away from the creature. Um you do notice, Mum, that it, it is looking at you, it still has its focus on you, but you do notice like so, some of these like berries kind of like pulse a little bit they look like you know when someone sniffs like the way that like yep, nostrils like move and it kind of is getting a little distracted in that corner it can tell that fresh meat has arrived on the floor and you can hear your friends just kind of shouting from the east sort of the east so you know that uh all of you are on the same floor now you're all up here um, a real beef eater all right, so let's move on to the creature. The creature is probably going to do a very similar thing to what it did before. Because uh, the way that the game works, uh, viewers, is that it's, it's really well laid out, actually. It gives you a list of things that the creature can do, and it gives you them in, like, a priority order. Um, so it, it makes it just really easy to understand um the tactics of the monster and what it would so instead of giving you like six things and then you're just saying like oh my god which one would it do what would it choose it just is like it will do this before it does this it's very like um very cool and like this creature there's an element of intelligence to it but for the most part it is it just seems to be some kind of beast um and as by the way as it's walking there is like little bells attached to it similar to what that guy had around his uh wrist so it's kind of walking and there's like these really merry little like bells kind of <laughs> after um cool so room so yeah it's gonna do exactly the same thing it's gonna shoot some holly at you um so i would like you to roll a d6 uh Me? jen Misa. Okay. yeah fuck i accidentally closed help over you okay come back up um let's go d6 you said D6, yeah. Uh, one. One. Um, they, you do get hit. No, you I don't. Take, you, you do. Oh, you're gonna negate it? <laughs> um, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna negate Otherwise it. Otherwise you're dead. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I have no wounds right now because I no, use no, medicine, no. but... Um, oh, uh, right. Mum did uh, kill themselves, so uh, yeah. they have... But I still, uh, you know, I would still rather stay at, like... I would still rather maintain zero. myself at zero wounds just to see if we can at least split the attention completely makes sense um so yes you do that um cool thanks ghost kid yeah and i and kind of as you do uh as you do that you uh kind of hear this um you, this this 
leaf comes spiraling straight towards you and it looks like it's going to embed itself in your forehead like it is really coming straight to the eyes and then it kind of stops in front of you withers up and falls to the ground and you just hear right in your ear see protected i'm just kind of frozen just like stare like eyes a little bit crossed i think i just peed a little (laughs) (laughs) um cool that's one it is going to move into the room with you. Ew. So, yeah, you are now in the room with the creature. Okay. okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, and you would have, uh, uh, I don't actually think that anyone knows that, to be honest, um, because no one, uh, there's a barricades that are blocking your view, uh, yeah. fives. Mm. So you can kind of see a little bit what's going on and you know that the creature's the other side, but you don't like, and you can hear there's a commotion, but you don't know exactly what's going on. Um, cool. Uh, Millie, we're going to you. What are you doing? I'm running. I'm running for my device. For my You're running for your thing. You're mm-hmm. gonna, okay. So you are going to. I don't know that any of this is going on behind me. So I, even if I had it in me to run back and try and save mom, which I don't know, maybe. Mom is here to make sure you all get out of here alive. Even at the cost of her own life. And we appreciate that about don't her. Worry. Thank you. So you are in her. this room right here. Yeah. Okay. So next next uh, next turn, I've got it. It's literally next turn. You can you can grab this. Okay. Let's fucking go. Um, cool. Uh, mom, what are you doing? This creature is right in the room with you. All right. Um, I think there is pretty much, uh, one thing I can do, uh, that won't end in, uh, me dying. Um, actually there are a couple things. However, comma, um, okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, how many desperation do I have? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> In the past, when I have hit a monster with an attack, do I remember them not, like, do I remember them losing any of their actions? Um, so the, the act, uh, the actions, I'm kind of treating it as, do you, do you, what items do you have on you right now? Oh, zero. I'm, I'm just wondering, like, is it worth doing a survey and hope I get something a weapon to hit them with, or do I just escape and run? No, I feel like what you're what you're working towards is just surviving the night before the sun rises. Um, you know that this creature will die when the sun rises, and you can see out the window actually. It's coming. It is beginning to cusp the horizon. Right. Um, so right now, I feel like oh, Mum would understand that fighting is uh, the last resort if possible. Right. Um, or finding items you should probably just, just try to get as far away from it and lead a merry dance might be a good tactic beautiful all right so i'm gonna go ahead and kind of like i'm kind of like cornered in the back of the room i will essentially um throw a wet wipe to, to get its uh its, its berries smelling over there and then i'll dive under its arm and and make an escape move eating a desperation okay fine how much desperation do you have left may i ask two Two okay, or right. yeah, yeah. Um, so you're gonna eat a desperation, and then where are you going? Uh, this is no longer barricaded, right? This the room that it came out of. The room that it came out of is not barricaded on this side, no, but it's barricaded on the other side. All right. Um. So here's the thing: you have to, you have three possible escape routes. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can either way, you're gonna be the same distance from the monster, right? Um. If you go in room number four. Um, you can probably hear your friends coming from that way. So you know that your friends are that way. That's kind of what I'm thinking. um, You know, you can see, I I would say you can see inside that room enough to see that there is probably some kind of barricade on the other side. And so you would be trapped in that room, essentially. Um, Going, you could follow where you think Millie has gone to, um, to kind of go around, um, or you could head down the stairs again. I think I'm going to Bye Stone Shore. I think I'm going to um 
I'm going to believe in my kids, and I'm going to use the move action to move into the room four. Okay, perfect. So you are going to move into here. Um, and I'm going to hurl I... another wet wipe that'll splat on the window up, uh, across the room, uh, indicating like, hey, mom's in here. I love it. Um, so you move into this room, um, and uh, five, you are the closest. I feel like you you see the force of something hitting and you kind of uh, can hear like this kind of like hurried like panting from the other side you know that one of your friends is in the room straight ahead of you okay oh, so yeah. wipe. you don't want to break that barrier it's another desperation right okay i think that uh, okay so um yeah you want to break that barrier i'm jumping ahead a little bit i think but, yeah. well yeah shall we uh Kate, is there anything that you want to do, or do you want to kind of? Are you okay for Joan to do that? Um, I'm gonna move into the room. Mm -hmm. Can I? There's no holding an action, right? No, no. You can go but you are time. probably the person that is best equipped to remove the barrier because you might be able yeah. to do it without losing desperation. Is the exactly. other thing. Well, I don't. Think and I then. So. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just well, gonna help. There's two barriers in here. So you could you could try to do the other barrier as well if you wanted to. Absolutely. Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. It looks like fives is going towards um, the one, so I'm gonna go towards the other, and I'm gonna remove that barricade. Love it. Okay. So um, you spend a desperation, Joan, uh, mm -hmm. to remove the barricade. Um, fleet. Uh, Roll a d6 for me. Four. 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 Uh, you do not lose a desperation. They want to do here. Cool. Um, you've taken both your axe now, though, haven't you? Moving into the room and uh, removing the barricade. That's right. Cool. That's um, and I believe that Fives has one more thing they can do. So you've removed the so barricade. Meet up with Mom. All right. Mom. Perfect. Mommy. Mom. Mom. Mama, Mom. I'm gonna feed you to the Holly Gorgon. Um, just a quick, Mom. just a quick question. Uh, is anyone wounded right now? No. Nope. 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 Got it. And I think we still have a first aid kit somewhere. My uh, my question being just because of if it was gonna choose between yeah. two people, yeah. uh, it would probably go for the person that was most bloodied. That's so, uh, yeah. Technically, um, I am bloody, as in there is blood on me. <laughs> all right. Uh, this thing is going to chase make, make chase so it will come here and it will once again projectile some leaves um oh actually i've just realized it is arranged not only is it a ranged attack it can affect everyone in the room so i would like both of you to roll a uh, d6 for me mine what three four. three um four it misses fives it hits Ooh. mom uh, so, mum, you all have one wound. Okay. okay. Uh, cool. So, and that's its go. All right. So now we move on to Millie. I mean, damn. Uh, There's only one thing for me to do. Yeah. Hell yeah. There is only one thing for <clears throat> Millie to do. Let's go. Uh, you move into here, Millie. Um, I'm really fucking excited about this. I'm not going to oh lie. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay and you head straight for this this was your room that you were staying in mm -hmm. um and you head straight for your coat and you know it's in the pocket this just little slip of paper and you I, I don't know what you're expecting it to be you're expecting it to be some like uh some spell some like divine secret some something um but you open it up and it almost looks like um a, a a child wrote it okay it is literally just a scribble um something about it fills you with wonder um i'm gonna send what it says to you and i want you to read it out loud in a in a questioning like almost like what the hell am i reading kind of tone um <laughs> okay she's not just a gm um, she's a director i love this i love yeah, this that movie was an that was an uh, I'm gonna send note. it. I'm gonna send it into the group chat. Uh, but uh, I'm not gonna read it. Me. I'm Me not either. gonna read. 
I'm going to wait for my delivery. I'm waiting for your delivery. You I hope I don't let you down. You, you only can't. You only will. <laughs> okay. Why is Donkey Kong's butt looking I've at me? I've sent it. I've sent it. I've sent it for you. Give me the note. Give me the note again. How am I? How am I delivering this? It it's wasn't. Cool. Why is I Donkey Kong's butt looking this, at like, me? In this, like, you're filled. You, you're filled with a strange sense of wonder, but at the same time, like, you're very incredulous. It literally just looks like a child just scribbled down some terrible poem. Okay, right. so like, motivation. I've got it. Let me take a video. Oh god. I'm We're on twitch.com. Sound, sound rolling. <laughs> sound rolling. Oh you, Saint Nick, who are so jolly. Help us kill this man of holly. Relentless with your eyes so bright. My wish is we survive the night. From the next room you hear, oh, same, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's this uh... moment of just, like, You've just read this out, and you're just expecting something to happen, and Smart nothing off. happens. And you feel so embarrassed. Like you can, you can see Kate is like looking. Like you can feel. You, they're not in the room with you, but you can feel your teammates. Like what the fuck? Did, is this what we ran up here for? Like this, what was that? Um, yeah. And you kind of say it, and then the ho the Holly Gorgon. Uh, stops, and it, it 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 kind of looks up, right? My hat just fell off. I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> it kind of just looks up, um, and you can hear uh, the sound of sleigh bells, and then you hear this, just this. Oh, and crashing through the wall it's mario um, chris Pratt is here play. crashing through the wall <laughs> comes your new friend i'm gonna make him a little bit oh yeah let's um, go yeah. and okay hey. I have, I have something for this oh so he's not what what really really oh damn it's real zoomed out and he goes, totally looks like Standing with their thighs all the way apart and very high. <laughs> I knew this would happen. He's um, in front of so me, he... and I just overawed and just Santa. Like there's a chimney in this room, and he just came crashing through it. So he didn't like come down it. He just like <laughs> kicked the wall in, essentially. Oh and yeah. He, like, walks on, like the wind is gusting into the room, and he goes. Finally, I thought you'd never bloody call. Um, Fucking and he has like Santa. He's <laughs> Irish. I'm so sorry we didn't listen, Santa. We're in so much trouble. All our teammates are dead. Help. Um, he says I have two purposes: deliver presents and kick ass. I'm all out of presents, <laughs> and he like runs right. through. Um, and uh. Yeah, he is on your side. I'm going to give him his actions now. Oh my god. Which are literally going to be to just run past you. And as he does, he gives you a little wink and he goes, I like you, bright-eyed girl. And he runs past and into this room. Cade, this jolly man, <laughs> he, he doesn't... He, he looks a little bit like you know, various depictions of Santa. He's got a red coat, but it's a long one and it's got cuffs of fur on the end, like sort of a blacky red fur. His sleeves are rolled up and he is tattooed. Uh, one is, on uh, one arm is written naughty and on the other arm is written nice. Um, I completely stole this from Rise of the Guardians. Uh, <laughs> so he's hot? He's hot like in Rise of the Guardians? He's got a huge, uh, a huge, yeah, yeah. He he looks like Rise of the Guardians, uh, North. If you don't know what that is, look it up right now. This is what he looks like. Buff Santa? Um, is that what we're Come here, Santa. With? Buff Santa. Oh, I saw um, mommy kissing Santa Claus. <laughs> around, his, around his wrists are like boxing wraps, um, but they're made up of like um, ribbons and like wrapping paper. Uh, <laughs> nice. um, and all padded out. So he looks like he's ready to fight. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna look, reach into my pocket, and take out my retainer for like the ice just popping in my mouth. 
Um, and he's running straight past you. He's solely looking at the uh, Hollygorgon, and the Hollygorgon is looking at him and emits a low growl. Um, so that's his actions. Uh, we will go now to Mum. Oh no, I saw Mummy kissing Santa Claus. Um, um, I'm going to have like look. I'm going to kind of like move up, move up a little bit. Look in between uh, Hol- uh, the Holly Gorgon and Santa Daddy. Um, Daddy Santa. Daddy Santa. Um, I'm going to think of I saw Mummy kissing Santa Claus, and then I will please uh, for flavor, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and survey the room. In this room here? In this room here, yeah. Uh, cool. Are we... We are surveying, so not, uh... Yeah, not, um... Like, the yeah. one that called Desperation. Yeah. Got it. Roll your d12 for me. Right. Five? Five. Five, I'm afraid, gets you nothing. Ah, alright. Um... Most of this room is rubble. Like this thing yeah, crashed yeah. heavily into this room. Uh, yeah. Okay. So then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, mm. um, I'm going to go ahead and move into the next room. Uh, mm-hmm. with Daddy Santa. Yeah. With, with Daddy Santa. Yes. Um, I want to kind of like look up and down and be like, can you uh. Kind of like indicate the the pulsating berries. Um, that's what I'm here for. Make a wish. I make wishes come true. That's my of my thing. And he kind of. <laughs> uh, I wish the Holly Gorgon dead. <clears throat> Can you bring my dad back? <laughs> he just pointedly ignores that. Uh, Can you okay. rejuvenate my wet wipes? <laughs> Wait, no. I'm gonna just okay. I can see it's getting late, and we're all reaching that. That things. Um, all right. So you're in this room. Uh, we are gonna go for. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna shake things up a bit. Uh, let's go for. We had Millie. We've had. Millie. Let's go for uh, fives first this time. Okay. That's okay. Uh, I was going to take a moment, and I was gonna be bombastic about it by being like. Hey, you fucking Holly Gorgon, back the fuck off, you discount Hobby Lobby piece of trash. Yeah. Same I time, I'm going to be gregarious. <clears throat> hey, Santa. <laughs> okay, so, um, cool. You don't, you don't have to use both, but I love that you did because it kind of vibes with the character. Um, oh. I So, yeah, you take a moment, so you may restore one desperation. Ooh. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. All right, you have all made yourselves targets right now. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. The Holly Gorgon is gonna enter this room. Uh, Wait, did Cade get to go? <clears throat> oh, I I'm so sorry, Cade. I have no memory of going. <laughs> Cade, you need to have put your vote. Back. I, 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 yeah. I put Listen, it back. motherfucker, put it back. this is getting a barricade. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you Woo! were going to do that. Um, cool. As soon as everybody's in, I'm just going to be, Cade's so confused, but is really quickly going to, like, start putting it right back up. Like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely, absolutely not. not. Absolutely uh, not. Absolutely this is a clever not. idea. Uh, okay. Let me just. Can I... This is a clever idea, but I'm gonna murder you all anyway. No, 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 no. I'm dying for state of protection. Fine by me. Okay, no. Uh, Kate has actually done something really great, and it's good that you all reminded me that this was uh, the forgotten Kate's go. Thank I'd you. I'd be very waiting much. to put that barricade back up. That's why I didn't go anywhere. I was as soon as I took that down, that thing was going right back up when everyone was inside. Are you doing anything else? Because you have two acts, so you may do something else if you wish. You know I'm gonna do a little survey. Uh, has this room already been surveyed? I'm trying no, to remember. I don't think so. Don't think, think so? Found, okay, they that's found what I trust. I trust in the stack in the, 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 the staircase. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
yeah i trust in i trust in the memory of my players more than i trust my own memory so um Sometimes uh, please roll a d12 for me god i've got the lord has been so good to me with these rolls you got this do good again please I'm so a six. You just you find barricading materials. Um, oh. oh, and when you barricaded, um, because it was a desperate act, but roll your d6 to see if it was uh um did it actually took desperation or Three. not. Three. Three? So it did. Um do you know what? Uh I'm feeling kind of kind. I'm going to say that you did it the other way around. You found the barricading materials first, and so you don't have to spend that desperation to barricade. I feel I feel Ooh. like that's really good. Merciful God. God. Mm -hmm. And and this is because I forgot your go, so I feel like I I need to make that up to you. Um, <laughs> you do. <so> okay. <laughs> okay, fuck you. Um <laughs> I'm just doing my best here. Um okay, so Kate has done an amazing thing, barricaded you all back in, bought you some time. So this thing is actually now going to completely change what it's going to do. Uh, originally, of course, it would have probably just shot holly leaves at all of you, um, apart from Millie, who is still <laughs> wide-eyed and in wonderment in the other room. Um, but now it can't, because it needs to get through the barricade. So instead, it takes a run from the room, straight through, and it's stampedes its way into the room with you. Oh no. Um, immediately destroying the barricade that you have just put up. You are all in the same room as the creature. Um, you can oh, see- can I fight it? Can I fight it? Can I fight it? Can I fight it? You can, you can, you can fight it. This is not the moonlight. You can in fact fight this. Yeah! What did you write? I roll a six or I roll a d6? Yes. So you have. Yeah, I didn't uh, roll yet. I didn't roll yet. Sorry. I was asking, I roll a, do I roll a d6? You need to roll a, a d6 and you need to roll a five or a six, I believe. Okay. I did thing. get a six. Hell yes. You Woo! manifested that. Um, you have drained. Uh, you have drained. It's. You get the sense because of what you just did, that this creature, it's, it's become desperate. It has driven into this room with you. Um, that sun, and Millie, you can see this looking out the window, that sun in the next couple of seconds is going to rise over that hill and it is going to end this night. And what I mean by that is you all and the monster get one more round and then this is over okay so uh we're gonna go around um because the monster has taken its turn it is now in the room with you um we will start i'm gonna i'm gonna go backwards the, from where i normally do so uh let's go with uh, uh five first can i take another swing at it you're gonna try and attack it um, when you say it like that, um, <laughs> <laughs> let me just double check my options real quick. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna attack it. You're gonna attack it. What are you gonna attack it with? Glory House. The... Yeah, yeah, got it. The spiky thing. Okay, yes, you need to roll a d6, I believe, for that. Four. Four. Okay, yeah, wow, you are. Yeah, oh no, wait, four. Um, so you didn't make it lose an extra monstrous act. Um, gotcha. But you did make so basically, normally it drains one monstrous act. You would have drained two if it had been a five out of six, but uh, you drain one by fighting it and it is engaged, which means that because it is engaged in combat with you, um, other people in the room 
don't they like if they want to move out the room it doesn't cost desperation for example they can do things mm-hmm. that normally will cost desperation if a monster is in the room because it is focusing on you right now all right so you're engaged with it um let as i will do santa at the end <laughs> um let's do uh let's do kate next okay i'm running to it looks like there's shit happening here they've got unlocked they have this santa figure i'm gonna move to this hallway to check in with millie Mm -hmm. you see Um, millie's in there she's just just holding this uh letter in her hand looking like a bit bewildered (laughs) um but otherwise unharmed can i spend an action to give them the sack you don't have to spend an action to do that. That's free action. You can. Right. You can. You I'll have to be in the same there. room as them, though. I can. I can. S- I can spend an action to come into that room for the sake of this. Okay. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. You can do that. Uh, like so you can come into the room, and then Cade can continue. So you'll have one axe yeah. left. Uh, I see you like fall into this room away from the monster, and then just like look at you wide-eyed, like, is that really? Is that Santa? to me and i'm gonna clap a hand on your shoulder i'm going to take <laughs> the sack and i'm going to press it into your hand if something goes south i want you to hide until the sun comes up okay uh-huh look at me you look at me you gotta be brave now wet wipes you gotta be brave look at me okay. look at me okay 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 promise promise you're making it out of this, this out alive yeah rex we're all gonna make it out of this alive okay i promise Marge, Marge didn't. Our coach, Captain Marge Brom. Marge Padme Brom. Does anyone this. know how to clip to clip that? Because that was amazing. Yeah. Your new nickname is Wet Wipes. Thanks. Don't thanks, let your wipes now get up. Thanks, everybody. You listen to me. I'm gonna hold this sack in your hand. You. Uh... We're seniors. We have nothing left to live for. You're a sophomore. You got the world left. You live it for us. You got college. You got, you got tryouts. You got. There's gonna be scouts at the national. The nationals, Rex. Listen to me. Listen to me. None of that matters compared to the future you have in your hands. Wet wipes. I hate that you're calling me that now, but I can't go on without you all. Don't make. I know you do. And that's, you know what? I'm just gonna kiss you on the forehead. Go with God, and I'm gonna <laughs> turn. And I am going. I love this. It's beautiful. Uh, I have um, a desperate act left. Um, I am gonna go up to the side. Oh lord, sorry, I have to get the actions back up because I've done mostly one thing. I've done mostly one thing! Um, does it look like you've been hurt at all, Mille? No, I'm fine. I, I can't tend any wounds. Um, you can you can um, survey or look for hidden items or anything in this room. Millie's also got a first aid kit. Millie We're has a first good. aid kit as well. We're all good in here. Um... We have one turn left, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you, yeah. So this will be your last. This will be your last thing. If someone dies now, I can't use the Necronomicon, the Winter's Tale. Uh, I probably will allow it, but we'll we'll see how the story goes. By okay, probably not. Because I have. If no one dies, I do have a plan for the Necronomicon. Word. Okay. That's oh. Absolutely. Don't that's say sweet. oh okay. yet. That's sweet. Don't say oh yet. You don't know what it is. <laughs> All right, dum, 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 I rest. I stand at the door and guard it. I rest. Okay, can't fine. Um, yeah, you could actually just take a moment and restore a desperation if you've got nothing else to do. I have um, five, so I can't do that because mm-hmm. it has to be three. No, three. that's right. It has to be three or less. I have. I'm oh yeah, that's true. Right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. You do. You do nothing. You kind of just stand at the door. You're ready to defend. You're all good. I think you've still got. You, you've thrown the shotgun away, but I think you've still got an axe. <laughs> I do still have an axe, and that entire 
was done with a slight lisp because I have my retainer in. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna go to uh, Mom. Mom, All right. what you do? So, Mom is going to um, walk up to kind of like this door here, um, steal some of the like hand wraps off of the Santa's forearms, and use it to patch up her own wounds. Um, and I would like to use a desperation to uh, use the ten wounds. Okay, so here's the problem. Yeah. This creature is incredibly cold in their vicinity. So much so um, that it is, you feel yourself shivering and shaking when you're in the same room as it. Um, while you are in the same room as this creature, mm. you the air is freezing. It's hard to perform some actions with shaking hands. So you cannot tend wounds in the mm. same or an adjacent room as this creature. Ooh, spicy. So you actually can't do that. All right. And I've just, yeah, and I would have realized that if someone else had said it as well, but gotcha, no gotcha. Okay. In that case, well, all right. So I can. Is either... that still true if it's engaged? Yes, even if it's engaged, it's an aura. It's like, it's like... I figured. Yeah. I just thought I would check. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Good question. Does it, does it appear to be hurting at all? It appears to be desperate because it knows its time's about to run out. Cool. We can't kill it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Um, okay. Then what I will do instead. I'm so sorry. This is, this is not... Um, okay. So I'm going to use the fact that it is engaged to um, go ahead and do a scavenge. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna do like a proper looking for a, a really good thing. A proper look, see. A proper look for hidden items. Yeah. Okie dokie. Roll me a d12, please. Mm -hmm. I just want to say that I'm really happy that the stick and my uh, character art is just a little bit bent because you know that means that I'm about to do a slap shot. Amazing. Um, <laughs> nine. Nine. You will also see a sack in the corner of the room that you can grab. Uh, uh, same thing. You mean there's two about... sacks? There is. There's two sacks. Not just one, two. Mm -mm. What I'm going to do... I don't like that. I'm going to grab the sack, sit in front of the door where Rex and Wet Wipes are, and I'm going to hide in the sack right in the door. You absolutely can. You can absolutely. So it will just ignore your presence. I'm going to. I'm going to block the door with my sack. With my sack. Is it particularly? Um, I don't think yep, you said that. that's going to work in the way that you want it to. I know. <laughs> it's just for flavor. Yeah. It's just for flavor. Um, uh, okay, so you are hiding in the sack. Uh, Millie, that's you. You have one act left. Okay. Because um, you moved into this room, so it what's did. the other thing? And I took the sack. I, pro <laughs> I, I promised Rex. I promised Rex I would live, so I'm going to go and hide in the furthest corner. And I'm going to climb into a giant sack as well. Okay, you Hold are also in whimpering and yeah. weeping. Wet wipes. Please stop. He's actually um, an entire sack full of wet wipes when you, <laughs> uh, when you put it on. Um, so you didn't know I got my gory how hat trick. And you. All right, and then we will move to Santa's go because Santa's. Let's Daddy go, Santa. Santa. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Santa. Santa Claus, let's go. Santa. Let's go, Santa Claus, let's go. Santa is here to kick ass. Oh. He said as much. Um, Santa is going to use their act to fight the thing. Daddy Santa. Mm -hmm. um, pow pow. So, okay, so that drains an action. Okay, um, and is there anything else they can do? Question. Go on. If the Holly Gorgon does an AOE, does it still hit me in the sack? 
Um, I would. <laughs> it's not aiming for you. There's still a level of aiming. Um, okay. I will look no, at it no, properly. It's but it's I feel like room, so I can't do an AOE because that's range, right? Yeah, so it can only do it like if it's an adjacent room. Um, but, but first of all, it has to deal them. with whatever's in the room, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Anyone in the in the room with Santa hurt? No. Santa. No. Oh. No, 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 because we're still on Santa's go, but of course. Santa. Santa is still affected by this thing. So, um... Weak-ass bitch from the North Pole can't even handle a little bit of chilliness? Do you know what? That doesn't seem right. I'm gonna, girl say hiding Santa, in a I'm gonna say that I'm gonna say that Santa can tend your wounds and can ignore this creature's uh, thing. So Santa's gonna spend their other action tending your wounds. Santa and I have a torrid affair. Um, so yeah, it is. <laughs> you are the new <laughs> Mrs. Claus. Uh, get it. Not a good thing, according to our one shots on who girls around these worlds. Not the yeah, best thing to happen. Not, to mm -mm. Yeah, I'm in that. I'm gonna be in that. And uh, Blue Beard's pride. Mm, cool pride. Um, cool. All right, we're kind of coming close to time. So, the Holy Gorgon. Um, it looks at you and it's kind of engaged with you. Uh, with you fires and it's kind of engaged with Santa. It's gonna take its final moves. Um before it is burnt up. <laughs> sizzle, sizzle in the sunlight. I feel like it would definitely, if Santa hadn't have been here and it had been a similar thing, I feel like it would have probably just tried to hit um, uh, fives twice and probably succeeded and probably killed fives. Um, however, Thanks to all of your joint efforts and Santa being here and all of these draining of the actions, it actually only has one action left. Um, and so it will go for you fives mm -hmm. and it will inflict one wound upon mm -hmm. you. And then you will see as the sun rises over the hill. And those berries, pulsing berries, begin to convulse. In fact, the whole thing begins to convulse and it staggers backwards, screeching. Um, the bells are jingling, but they're jingling in a way that is jarring to the ears. Uh, and you all kind of cover your ears and as it, it screams out. Um, you've never heard what a plant sounds like when it's in pain but this is probably what it sounds like it is uh, it is it is just this high-pitched jarring squeal um and each of its branches that kind of make up its body begin to burst into flame the um, berries pop the oh. berries pop the berries absolutely pop um and it kind of burns up in this awful kind of flaming holly. You, the, the, it goes from being very cold to suddenly very warm. Um, you are like me every day in this. Yeah, and you're all very hot. Um, and Santa, as this thing is writhing and screaming, uh, delivers one final great punch to the face and sends it reeling into the other room uh, and cracks his knuckles and he goes happy holidays everyone and then just walks wait out. wait <laughs> um and just to kind of deliver an epilogue the sun Ow. has risen you run for the bus keys where you know they are. I know, Fleet, you had something that you wanted to do. Um, so, what was it? On the bus, um, I bring Coach's body back, and I'm, I'm holding Coach in my lap. And I remember the book. And I whisper, 
Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made you out of clay. <laughs> and when it's good and ready, with dreidel I will play. The ancient. You turn our coach into a golem? Plastic. <laughs> no. <laughs> Consider <But> the coach. <laughs> I was I right. <laughs> coach's uh, as you as you do that, um, coach's eyes flicker open, um, and they're kind of where, where am I? You, did you get out? Is are we, are we dead? I've got like a Nalgene bottle already, like shoving in their face. <laughs> Drink. Uh, you're you're driving the bus. You're the responsible one. Remember. That's Fuck. true. That is true. I, look, I just yelled back, I've I got an algae in my bag! I look up. Can we go to France next year or something? <laughs> I was thinking um, Switzerland. Co co coach gives you a really wry smile. Um, and kind of looks up and goes, well, If we're not dead, then what the hell are you doing driving that bus? <laughs> you were <laughs> dead! Um, storms over to you. Takes over the wheel, and you all we are going disappear. So divide down the highway. You all disappear into the sunset. You're all bickering and yelling at each other in the way that you should, and running each other on. But strangely, your team has never felt so connected. And <laughs> that that all that I, am was left. I am begging you, and let that... the fade to black scene um, be us inaugurating Millie as wet wipes. As wet wipes. I yeah. like wet wipes. Somehow um, there's a shirt so ready sorry. made which says wet wipes <laughs> on the so... back. We had like a, uh, a like a portable cry cut machine already 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 good. What's up? I'm What's so up, sorry. Um, I'm so sorry that your name is wet wipes. Um, okay, oh, yeah. so uh, that was the end of Oh Gory Night. I hope you all had fun. Oh, um, and I hope everyone watching enjoyed themselves and enjoyed watching everyone having an absolute blast um i'm gonna have a few things to mention um so first of all i'm gonna just reiterate that game uh was made it's called uh bar the windows bolt the doors it is made by stoneshore games and a lot of the things that i drew from are from their bloody all expansion they're currently on sale you can buy them as a bundle for a really really good price thank you for putting the link in chat <laughs> Darcy, i really appreciate it um and they are a fellow uk slash eu creator um so uh please go and check that game out if you loved it um because it's a freaking amazing game it's so much fun and um you can do so many cool stories with it because the mechanics are just so simple and easy to follow um also uh the i will just briefly mention that the music that was kind of used throughout um the intermission music was by scott buckley and uh the kind of battle theme music that we had going on throughout uh was michael gelfie music um so i do have to just mention that um then uh i will quickly start by kind of like quickly talking about me <laughs> uh i've been uh cat the law mistress um you can find me at law mistress 93 on twitter if you want to give me a follow um and if you enjoyed that stream please do consider um following my twitch i would really 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 appreciate it um Oh yeah, I will shout out as well um, that the the layouts and all the overlay that you saw and everything like that was made by the amazing Enio. It's such an amazing job, and I like could not have been happier mm. when he was sending me like, "Is this okay?" And I was like, "It's amazing." Um, shout out to JC Darcy as well, who is not only playing but is producing for me, and I like I and and also bullied me into doing this in the most. Uh, hype man way possible so i i'm really really happy that i did or, or in fact all of my cast have just been like cat this is gonna be amazing just chill out it's gonna be fine um so thank you all for being amazing players um and friends as well because i love you all um cool uh yeah so i'm cat uh law mistress 93 i'm a writer i'm an editor and i stream a lot apparently and now on my own channel too um <laughs> So um, you can often find me on Girls Run These Worlds. Uh, I'm going to be in a one shot over there uh, Christmas week, um, as well as doing Summit Special in January, Summit 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 Summits, 
special. Oh, I'm looking at you, Fleet. Something special. Um, and also, uh, season two of Throsi and Odyssey is coming back. So if you enjoy watching me, DM, and my beautiful cast, a couple of my cast members are here playing tonight. So uh, Jen and Joan are part of my cast. So if you enjoy that, then please do um, come and watch us on that. That will be January into February. Um, and I, I think, uh, oh yeah, I have one game coming up for in December as well. That's going to be on the 28th of December and I'm going to be playing a quiet year, which I've never played before, but I've been told is amazing. So I can't wait to play it. Um, that's me done. I'm going to quickly go around if we can just qu quick march, promote some shit. Um, and then uh, we will end the stream. So uh, let's start with the uh, one, the only fleet. Hey everybody, I've been Fleet Dietrich, the pronouns are they, she, you can find me at, at Fleet underscore Dietrich, follow Girls Run These Worlds, you'll be seeing me play in ink with um, the Space Chamber, as well as running Merc Borge, uh, sponsored by the actual Merc Borge team, so huge shout out to them, uh, come to see your four-faced oracle and some righteous heavy metal Hanukkah shit. Uh, and truly, again, if you enjoyed this stream, please follow Kat. Uh, just really quick, hit that Twitch follow button. We're trying to get Kat to affiliate so that we can see more of these amazing one-shots, amazing streams. So please, please, please do it. Um, thank you so much for all that you have done today. And thank you, all of you, for tuning in and hanging out. That's it. Thanks, Fleet. Um, let's move on quickly to Joan. Bye! Uh, you can find me here, well, I'll probably be here again, because I love Kat, and I love playing in, in her game. And, um, the, you can check us out in Theros Season 2, like I said, um, you can check me out, I'm occasionally on Three Black Halflings doing stuff, we were just at PAX U, it was super fun, um, also, I'm going to be in a Regency one-shot this Christmas season over on Girls in These Worlds, and you can find me on Twitter as the Rogue Senna. I am very close to 1,400 followers, so if you hop over there and give me a follow, that would be fucking awesome. Thank you very much. Also, let's go Red Wings. Yeah. Nice. Uh, next up, Jen. Hi, friends. Uh, I what? <laughs> Jen Burb, I like Jen Burb. Uh, hi, friends. Uh, I am I am Jen. I was playing uh, Izumi Mom. What's on the bay? Um, <laughs> owner of the famous Wet Wipes and all variations thereof. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Jen Burb. Um, what? It's a lot of variations. It's a lot of variations. She don't know um, me. You can also find me over on the. Uh, uh, Mythic Odysseys of Theros, along with uh, Joan, GM by the wonderful cat, who has somehow in the last like six months gone from I don't know who you are to you are like my favorite GM, uh, which, you know, truly fucking iconic human being um, and, and storyteller. And I I could go on for hours. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's me. And that leaves me, I guess. Hi, friends. It's me, JC Darcy. I'm a writer, game designer, performer, and producer, and director of operations and GM at. Everybody buried the lead. Award-winning GRTW. I think you'll find I said Game it. Hers award-winning. I'm so sorry. Award-winning. Everybody should be taking credit for that. We are all technically times. all award winners. We do Every win awards. Us. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at jcdarcy underscore. Um, I will be in two one shots. I'm running a game of Coffee and Chaos, which is a um, basically if you ever played a D and D campaign and wondered what would happen if your characters had to run a coffee shop, it that. Um, and I will be appearing in Under the Floorboards with Taylor at Roll for Felicity, uh, which I'm very, very excited about. And then in the new year, holy crap, you guys, we've got some amazing new shows coming out. Stacked. Stacked. I'm going to be in a few of them. Lancer Season 2 comes back in January. Loving the time of Mech, so we're going to get real sexy and flirty up in this beach. If you're not, if you're here and you're not following Girls Around These Worlds, what are you doing? Please, please, please go and follow them on Twitch. Go and follow them on Twitter. Go and support them support amplify empower women and femmes and get us paid because we deserve it everybody here has put in so much work in this game in their own stuff in grtw stuff everybody deserves all the credit all the reward you're all incredible people thank you so much for having me well fucking done cat this is fucking amazing yay I'm so glad that everyone enjoyed it and it went okay. Every time I play a game with you, I'm just like, oh, this is really good. And then you fucking break my heart. I'm like, oh, this is really fucking good. <laughs> Yay.
love you all um okay let's 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 head out uh thank you all all i don't even think it, can i ra can i raid things what what can i do i, I think you can <laughs> raid be able you to can raid. definitely Wait. raid you should go and raid Anyone vancouver by raiding? night yeah vancouver by night sarah's running her fandling game okay with an absolutely incredible how, how curse let me just see if i can do this um we believe we yeah. believe it be slash raid and then the username Vancouver. Okay, so we're going to be raiding Vancouver by night. Correct. Um, Sarah Moore, the amazing Sarah Moore, is running Fandolin by night over Award on that winning channel. Sarah, Sarah Moore. Award, Award winning Sarah, Sarah Moore. Moore. Thank you. I need to also shout out, has given me some invaluable marketing advice, has like really pumped me up, ready for this stream, and I could not be like happier to know this person. So uh, we're going to go over there and we're going to raid and say hi. Um, all right. Love you all. Let's head out and uh i will hopefully start this raid correctly <laughs> bye. bye everybody bye, bye. 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 bye.